Losers, what's going on? Welcome to the stream! Alright, that's all the energy I have for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, welcome. Welcome. We're doing more more garbage. Uh, yesterday we had a, a good selection of garbage. We found a black Sonic Sega Gamer. Kind of. He doesn't have like a selection of children. But he, uh, he, uh, he, he's similar. He is similar. He's, he's more one of those people that like a whole community of internet people who thinks that they're like above everyone else. Uh, you, you know, they like make fun of, he's kind of like a, a very minor Cyrax. It seems like, um, uh, the b black, black Sonic Sega gamer, maybe more black Cyrax, I guess. But, uh, yeah, we found some, we found some interesting people yesterday. Fucking Bane. Fucking Fuzo user. Ugh. God, fuck off, Bane. He comes to us last night and tells us, I just found a black incel YouTube channel. And then, like, an hour later, I'm like, uh, okay, what's the channel? And then, like, an hour after that, he says, I think the video's deleted now. You know... Fuck, I don't even think he's here, but fuck Fuzo right now. That sounded promising, potentially. And then, and then, and then he just, he could have told me the channel name. He didn't need to, sh it didn't need to be the exact video. Now we're just never going to find the black incel user. However, actually, I do have somebody who would uh, fit the bill. I wanted to begin with a zoophile, but there's time enough for zoophiles in the future. Um... Let me see here. Where, uh, I'll just search the thing here. Uh, no, how do you, god damn it. Yeah, manage the bookmarks. There you go. Manage the bookmarks. Come on. Um, oh no, I'm not finding it. Hang on. I think he might be on my weirdos playlist. Hang on. Um, we have, it's somebody we've looked at before. Uh, who I wanted to return to, because he has some interesting, uh, new potential content. Is he not on the fucking, oh, oh, man. Uh, no, okay, he is, he is, thank God. So we found a guy a little while ago who, uh, <clears throat> he's a, uh, a black incel real-life superhero who, uh, thinks that it's a good thing that George Floyd, uh, met the fate that he met. And, uh, he wants to, he's a dan he's a dangerous, unhinged individual who wants to become a vigilante and just kind of rants and raves in his bedroom about how he's gonna, he's gonna show his evil stepmother. She's gonna, she's gonna find out. She's gonna, she's gonna know. Um, and I'm not sure which one of these I was supposed to click on. There's apparently a new one that maybe got, I think maybe... <sighs> I feel like it might have been deleted. Um, hang on here. So, user Palooza, we got the bingo. Just bingo in a second here. But uh, I think Alan Sampson was the one who was like talking about this. He had a new video in the last couple of days, last couple weeks or whatever. It might have been this one rant on black women, feminism, Me Too, and female enemies. It might have been that one. Um, whichever one, I think I want to watch that as well, but I, I, if there was a specific one, if it's, if, is it still here? Because I know you were mentioning a specific one. The Super Vader, yes. Um, the Super Vader. Uh, let me see here. Uh, for the five bucks from Reverend Cudgel. Lars the Juggalo. He's a homeless juggalo that has a cooking show. He is surprisingly delightful. It's surprisingly a fruity aftertaste. Mmm, delightful. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, two bucks from uh, Victor Hugo Martinez. Hello, fellow users. Mama Max needs your help. Uh, what was the... I, I need to read the thing that Bane wrote, actually. I'm clowning on Bane, but I need to read the thing that he wrote recently that was... Um, where is it? Where is it? No, that's Mayo Boy. Where the hell... Was it in content announcements? Oh, you stupid moron. It was supposed to be another announcement. Attention all Mama Maxers. This is from Fuzo. Hang on. Let me just, uh, let me just, uh, 
just, uh, I mean, what even goes with this? Attention all Mama Maxes! Mama Max is in great danger and needs your help to wipe out child predators on YouTube. But to do this, he needs a paid GoFundMe and a couple abused girls. To help him, all he needs is your credit card number, the three wacky digits on the back, and the expiration month and year. But you gotta be quick, so Mama Max can defeat the pedos and achieve the epic victory royale! Uh, I just wanted to- that's from Fuzo, that's from Bane, I just wanted to share that. But, um, yeah, which- which video are we looking for here, uh, 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 Alan Sampson, do you- do you know? Uh, do you know which video it was specifically? How did I not see through Max's BS? It, 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 apparently nobody except Tommy C did. I, I've, I've watched, I watched Tommy C for the first time a couple nights ago, and apparently he's on big time vindication arc now because like everybody on the internet is, has seen now what he's, he's been saying for like three years or something, I guess. I was like very just you know, aware of him through osmosis, but now I'm watching him, it's like, yeah, he was right, fuck off, yeah, everybody else, I, I'm also not impressed, yeah, I mean, but that, that includes me, I'm not, I'm very unimpressed with myself, that's, that's, that's fair, um, let me see here, uh, I was gonna just search the discord for Super Vader to find out which the, the very special video was, um, Another homeless rant. I think this guy might have been a homeless rant channel. Yeah, I think he might have been. I'm not fully certain. So it was in it was in Milk Barn. So I just look up Super Vader. Okay, the the Super Vader. What? What? Okay, well, in a moment, I'm just going to pick a random video. Okay, no, yeah, it was the one I thought that looked pretty good. It was uh, R L S H rant on black. So, it, first, th firstly, it's worth noting the title of this video: Doug's R L S H rant on black women, black woman feminism, Me Too, and female enemies. So, for one thing, he is black. For another thing, I like the way it's written as it's his real life, because that's what RLSH means, real life superhero. So it means that he's specifically doing a real life superhero rant. So I guess it's going to be black woman and feminism and Me Too and female enemies uh, through the lens of a real life superhero. Maybe he means, maybe female enemies refers to like, refers to like, I don't know. Like, fighting a female combatant, like, if it's okay to punch them. If they're like, no, okay, never mind, he's talking about Marvel's, the, D Disney's Marvel's, the Marvel's, and how it was a flop, and several other things related to woman. I'm a woman! Yeah, awesome, awesome. The best real-life superhero is Batwoman. Hey, everybody. Hey, buddy. This is... Before we get into it, let's get the bingos going. Let's start the bingos up. Let's get it bingo in here. User Palooza, everybody. Welcome to the User Palooza once again. You don't user it, you're gonna palooza it. Welcome. The only superhero that protects children. Mama Max. Uh, let's see. Sorry, this user. I know you were ready, but now the bingo is pinned. Enjoy your bingo. Grab a bingo. Take a bingo. Have a bingo. Have a bingo. User Palooza. What do we got? Showed his true colors. Creepy fake or crazy laugh. Gunt, uh, which of course refers to... I, I would say gunt refers to if my stream gunts. Go for that. But also if you actually see the person in the camera showing their gunt area, their physical gunt area. Then that also works. Freudian slip. DVD or VHS collector. Uh, calls something else cringe. Licking the window of self-awareness. Fake crying. Uh, voice changer or text-to-speech. Doxing self or others. Waifus and dynamite gals. Claims to be bullied. This user. Loud intro AMV featuring butt rock. User connected to known user. We had that happen yesterday, goddammit. Opinion basher. Mom present, 
This would be stepmom. He hates her. He hates his stepmom. Uh, click here to find out more. Bad Mike. I'm autistic, be, which is to say they say it or they put it in their bio or something. Not just like, not just like, oh, this guy's clearly got something going on, but like they specifically say, uh, hi, my name is Co Cody and I'm autistic, preachy or religious, blames everyone but themselves, adult child friendship, thinks subject is obscure, it's not, community-wide hatred for specific user, and wished they were a kid again. Now, our fellow here is not necessarily much of a user, but we'll see. We'll have a little fun. We'll see how many bingo squares we can we can tick off here. Uh, we'll see if we can we can get anything. Uh, you might all have different bingos. If you have questions about a bingo space, I'd say probably ask Milksteak, the arbiter of the bingos. Uh, thanks once again to Milksteak for making the bingos, upkeeping the bingos, taking the bingos, having a bingo, enjoying the bingo. Um, Doug's RLSH rant on black woman, feminism, Me Too, and female enemies. My second of my God damn it. three... I keep wanting to go full screen like normal, but with the bingo it's better to stay like this. Of my three part real life superhero sports combat rock and roll attire intro intro with that. yeah bad mike yeah somebody's like just mark off bad mike already yeah yeah that's fine that's that's a good one out the sweat jacket good position saw too. the daytime version with this same outfit oh is the bingo still in the middle of the screen it's still in the middle of the screen hang on what do we, um... oh, I can i just do this no that's that's not gonna do it with the gym trunks and the The tank top sleeveless shirt with seeing, with or without seeing their or How did I mute myself? Jesus fucking Christ. How, what? What? Uh, okay. No, that's happened before. It's it's frightening. Somebody has access to my computer and they're playing tricks on me. Cause I didn't touch. I didn't even touch my stream deck. And I I had my fucking mouse nowhere near the mute button on my thing. If that happens again, they got me. If that happens again, they they got me. They're they're the 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 real life superheroes have infiltrated my computer. I don't know how much. I don't know how much you missed, but I was basically just explaining his his classic move of sauntering between the, uh, the 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 lump of shit in the foreground, which makes up his bed, and the wall, and he'll do like Power Rangers special moves between the bed and the wall. And there's like two inches of space between those, and then he'll knock stuff off of his windowsill here. I'm hoping that happens. That happened in like multiple of his videos, so I hope it happens again. Um, and jacket you saw the daytime version with this same outfit yeah, with it was the iranian mama max super it was mama max's legal team he got me the gym trunks can't believe and it the 
the tank top, sleeveless shirt with seeing, with or without seeing or, or imagery on them, with gloves, tape, shades, various accessories, double socks, and um, and um, footwear. Um, that's um. What? This is the costume. This is the costume I'll be wearing, and once again, this is for various reviews. What? This this, this look is for various reviews. Yeah, because he has like a different fucking costume in every video. I forgot about that. He has a entirely different costume like every video he has it's like he wants to be spider-man you know where spider-man has like a bunch of different fucking costumes you know he wants to be spider-man but he, he inst instead you know instead of having like a default costume to fucking begin with he just wants to jump like whole hog into being spider-man i guess uh he he he, he debuts new costumes uh, in every fucking video, it seems like. And the other thing, too, is that he, uh... I mean, all of his costumes, obviously, as per real-life superhero guidelines, they all have to be just him in, like, hockey pads and some some sweat some sweatshirts and stuff, like sweatpants. Um, okay, he, he's coming out. He's coming out. Okay, I'm gonna count this as, oh, as anime intro... Well, it's not an AMV, but it, it there's there is butt rock. I don't know if you have like loud music. I guess tick that one off. I don't have loud music though. Yeah, is this like? It's like WWE rap, it's like a kid rock song. Here he is. Wait, wait, wait. He's got even a. It's like a venom life beater and a flat top and shorts. He is going to fuck your mom. No, this was posted a month ago. Why do you ask? You mean to tell me this doesn't seem like a video that was posted in 2023? You don't think so? Wow. I mean, I, th I think it's up to par with like a... You know, this is like Mr. Beast video quality, pretty much. There he goes. There, it's, it's falling. Wait, what fell? Some shit that's off screen got like crumpled or something. I'm not sure what exactly took the damage, but I think he stepped on like a, a plastic box or something. <laughs> This is basically like the first YouTube video you could convince me that it was. He's doing his fighting game action poses. It's very, very slow punches so he doesn't wake up mom. The punches might be too loud. They might just disrupt the air too much. He's got to be very slow about it. Sorry, mom. Sorry. Curse ye ha me ha! Do we have lives in filth? I don't have lives in filth on mine. Sadly. I don't have lives in filth. Um. I don't have lives. I. Man. Man, it's unfor- I don't think we're gonna get many of these- uh, Well, I guess Gunt. I know Mark off Gunt with the, the microphone. Uh, if we- We're not gonna get fake crying and obs obscure subject, though, so this is not happening. And, like, unless he brings in a dynamite gal and, like, a few other thi- the, the, the bingo's not looking good for this guy, but he is gonna mark off a few squares. For sure. does this every time yeah markov lives in filth i remember there was one time somebody thought that this this lump of shit here was his like shirt they thought that it was like him the video started i forget if it was a chat member or somebody after the stream somebody was like yeah there's this part here where there's like it's his it's this 
this like swirly tie dye thing. I thought that this was him like hunched over miserable, but no, I think that might have been on on stream that happened. Actually, yeah, people thought and because I remember, I remember I thought that he he had a lump of shit on his bed that I thought was also him like depressed, hunched over, back to camera, like with a fucking you know blanket over his his entire body, just like he's you know sick with the flu or something. Uh, no, he just lives in filth. This is just how he lives. Um, uh, I would assume that loud crunching noise that when he stepped before, that might have been the Pringles can? I, I don't know. Hey, everybody. Hey, bro. It's time for another real-life superhero rant. And this time, as you can see by you know, the... Thank God there are real superheroes in real life who are willing to rant on YouTube for us. They're the true heroes. The title is... This Them and the DoorDash drivers. Time for yet another rant another on, rant on american women <coughs> feminazis oh. in me too movers popular youtube <coughs> the me too movers and the shakers to social media personality tommy sotomayor his most recent rants his most recent rants on afro-american women on Afro-American women and recently roasting of Leslie of Leslie of Leslie what? Jones who made who made disparaging marks about men's about men's penis penis size about men's penis size and trouble in the bedroom mm -hmm. His, and, I, and I and I and I was very offended by it even though it's the left that gets offended by things. I was extraordinarily offended by this, and she needed to be taken down a peg. I was roasting of her, Leslie Jones. I decided. I, deci I decided to do this rant right here, because not yeah, all... It was the Ghostbusters lady. Afro-American women. Yeah. Not all Afro-American women are bad, and not everyone... Oh, uh, yeah, I would say mark off uh, insane recording method. I mean, him, like, dancing while he's, you know... Again, he's, like, sidled between the bed and the wall and the window and just lives in filth, you know? I mean, I, I would say... I mean, eh, I don't know if it's rec insane recording method. I guess, it, I guess you could consider it, though. That's up to you. The recording is pretty basic, but you know he's 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 insane. So I mean, it it, it works. It works. Is a feminazi is a feminazi, and not everyone is me too. Is a part of me too, but most of you are, and it's once again time to put you in your um place. 2023. Ah, put them in put them in their place. Well, I mean, I just it's very dangerous when people do this whole like. Well, most peop most women are feminist me tooers, because I mean I'm I don't I don't know man, because that's just it's it's fighting fire with fire, and that's never good, because it's like didn't this all start when women said all men were rapists or something, and so then that turned into all women are feminazis, and now look where we are now Star Wars hates men or something, you know like I think we could just we we could just. I think we can just settle down on that kind of thing. It's been the I, you know, he, is, he is saying not all of them, but he is saying most of them. Of women being put. Preachy, in yeah. Oh yeah, preachy. Lots of box office flops, disaster. Box box off box office flops, disasters, and women being fired, being rightfully fired, removed, and terminated from jobs and projects. So I decided to once again chime in. There will be a rant. There will be a rant, and then when the rain is over, there will be a small dance party. There will be a small super kick dance party. And after that, then I'll make my grand entry. Okay, okay, this user in chat, you have to, you, if you're going to say things like this user is the Pringle Eater, you can't, your name is this user, so you're ha you have to just make the message is the Pringle Eater. So that the name is part of the message. Like you can't say this user, this user is the Pringle Eater. 
Like that that would just be stupid. That'd be like this, this user, user is the Pringle eater. That's just it's like you're on repeat. You gotta you gotta you gotta augment that. Come on now. And we There you go. You got it there. You, you got it. You got Let's it. get started right to now. Let me make my way on the camera. He's on the camera. He's on the camera. Oh yeah, definitely do repetition. I don't know if you have speech impediment on there, uh something like that. He he's definitely got some issues getting these getting these 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 hard hitting truths out. Yeah. What did you yeah. yeah, so like I told you. Full that's, sentence that's of nonsense. This rant um right here. And this video right here is aimed this this video right here is aimed at this video is aimed at some of my female enemies that I've been feuding with over the years. Yeah, I know last the last video we I just had a truce with you guys, but this right here this right here is the this right here is the this video for this, <laughs> this right here's the this video this is so it's difficult to understand it sounds like he's repeating more than he actually is because i think he's saying it's a dis video but the way he's saying it it almost sounds like he's saying dis right here is the dis right here is the dis vid this right it's like he's on it's like he's a sampler it's great He's like somebody's scratching and fucking uh, some someone's scratching his beat. It's all this is awesome. Some of you and the ones I do not have a truce with, I have not forgiven. And once again, like I said, another one aimed at feminazis and me too. Sick of Finally. feminazis and me too people destroying destroying men's careers, which is all the rage these days. That's all women want to do. That's all women want to do these days is destroy i mean you say jet set radio but i could definitely see this guy in this outfit being like an unlockable jet set radio character i i could see it you know i'm not with the venom but maybe like a similar looking you know shirt or or tank top or whatever you know he's got the he's got the like sunglasses on and everything we just need him to have like a, an idle pose animation where he's like popping and locking while he's talking you, you, you know, like in every cutscene in Jet Set Radio where the people can't just stand still and they have to go like, YO! while they're doing like a little fucking rollerblade dance. We need him to do that. We need him to, we need him to do that. <laughs> is destroy another Poison man. Jam variant, yeah. Destroy another man's career. And don't, you don't seem to care. This is Professor K's very unfortunate son. To destroy another man's career. And nobody, nobody read that tie-in novel. And that's, um, and that's, and that's, and that's wrong. So, I'm here to once again remind you, especially Afro-American women, of your place in the world. Yes, Afro-American women, I don't care. Finally, someone said it. How many magazines, movies, movies should try to showcase you as something positive? You are the lowest. You are at the Damn. bottom of the totem pole. So I think a lot of his hatred for African American women comes from like his stepmother or something. Because we've seen a video before that was literally him doing all of this, but just ranting about his mom. I mean, his stepmom. Just ranting about his, his stepmom and complaining about how she keeps him down and she, you know she doesn't she won't let him become the president or something um and uh so 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 i guess that has now projected onto yes all black women uh which is a, it's a shame uh we we did see that guy recently who was really upset about persona 3 reload having a black guy play uh uh, uh junpei in the dub uh and the the user who made the video of course was black and uh yeah i don't know i don't know what that's about i don't know i i guess that's the internalized racism that like a gawker article mentioned once 10 years ago uh it's, it's a shame it's a shame you are everything terrible about women you are the biggest negative stereotype every negative female stereotype is associated with you it's associated with you so bad that when we bring this up you have to bring up the fact that the other races do it too. The other races, um, other races do it too. And you are the, 
you are the phoniest and not 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 only with your personality not only with your personality but more importantly your personality you know the thing is if you say this user is the phony user then that's that that's one thing but if you say this race is the fo that i don't know that's that's different i was gonna you know I, I, it's not it doesn't it's not the, it's not the same vibe you know is your is your cosmetics i'm sick of i'm sick of Wig, the weaves. sheer charisma. I'm sick of weaves. I'm sick of makeup. I'm sick of makeup. Makeup, and I'm sick of you women. Skin. Wait. Wig, weaves. I'm he's sick of weebs. So, um, he's sick of weebs. Well, there's a lot of fucking women that don't like anime. I mean, it, it, you know, the the pendulum hasn't shifted that hard. You could probably still find a woman out there that hasn't watched Demon Slayer. Don't worry. I'm sick of weaves. I'm sick of makeup. Yeah, makeup. I'm sick of oh, makeup. weaves. Makeup. Oh, weaves. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I'm like, man, the black women have really taken to anime, have they? Okay, I didn't know. Uh, that's 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 cool. But no, I guess the weaves. Um, he's he's upset. Of, okay. And I'm sick of you women sense. scamming people because a lot of you women scam me for several years. Then not only you scam people, you get mad. I that. like how candid this guy is, where it's like, I'm sick of you women having power because I never had power before, and now I have even less power. What the hell? You guys are so scary, Person man. Compliments or hits on you, yet you dress, you dress or you wear something that will make a man attracted to you. When, if you take all that off, if you take all that off, this is special with you, Afro-American women. You take all that off, no man, no man will, no man will pay attention to you. You're just. I mean, that's just not true. I this I. There's a lot of people out there that are you know like that guy with the list of demands for a woman to date him, and, and you get that sometimes. But then like I feel like this guy. I don't know, I just don't feel like he would be that picky. Maybe he would be, I mean, maybe that's part of the fucking problem, you know? But it doesn't seem like he would be that picky. Uh, I don't know why he's... I don't know why he's so picky. Like, you can't see from this angle, but you're just like my door over there. You're just like my door over there. You would never know, you would never notice or care. You're just a, you're just a regular woman. I'm not gonna be super harsh like Tommy. Yeah, put on hypocrite. That's cool. Let me take a look at my bingo. Do we got any? I mean, I almost want to put down blames everyone. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Fuck it. Blames everyone but themselves. You know, it's definitely all the women's fault for you know all everything and not you know nothing nothing you've done. Um. Mom present is tempting just because she lives rent free in his brain, but I, I probably not, probably not. Uh, no, nothing else really. Maybe licking the window of self awareness could happen. That one could happen. Um, call something else cringe. I, that one could happen too. Uh, creepy laugh. I want to say creepy laugh, but this guy's so miserable and depressive that he, he's not like a Mama Max. I choose not to. You guys seen the footage of that, by the way? I know we don't want to keep going on Mama Max, but it's just really funny that... Because I, I only showed that... I only knew that the audio was out. But there was actually footage of it, too. And it was actually the segment... It was the, it was the footage from when he was doing monkey noises watching Sniper Wolf. Um, and he was in the Fiddle D outfit and everything. Um, so it's like, that was a few months ago, and he was already off his fucking rocker. He was already screaming about, I choose not to cancel you, Charlie! I'm the pedo hunter, Charlie! Come on, talk to me, Charlie! See what happens! See what fucking happens, buddy! Uh, and you can just imagine his, like, uh, his his secret off-camera moments now. I mean, that was on camera, but anyways. So do I, which, by the way, his rants, some of his rants will be in the description box below to get a taste for those of you who are, who are not familiar with Tommy Sotomayor's work to get a taste of what inspired his video I'm not going to be as brutal as he was when he roasts the he roasts the heck out of you man right I'm not going to do that I'm not going to do that I'm not going to call you ugly I'm not going to call you any of that but you are but um 
but you are you're not you're, you're not ugly or unattractive you are just plain you are just plain you are just average average so stop acting like you're yeah i mean this guy is pretty above average if you think about it i mean look at him look at this tall drink of water he has a different superhero outfit for every video how can you fuck with that so stop acting like you're a prize stop acting like you're better you stop acting like you're better than anyone and stop mistreating any man who is nice enough just imagine him inviting any woman back to this room though and you, you know like i guess he would probably clean up a little presumably but it's still i don't know it's still this looks like a dungeon i mean it's the combination of the like single light that he has on and the angle unflattering angle if you have it on your bingo that's fine but like the angle uh just like and and yeah the the video quality too i mean it does look like a video from like 2008 maybe 2009 uh i i've seen video quality recently where i'm like you have to try to have a camera this bad i mean like i feel like most laptops you buy now are going to have a better camera than this like most la most uh, webcams that you buy this has to have been like oh i just still have my old webcam from back in 2008 i'll just use that like that has to be the answer i guess fucking windows xp compatible last webcam here um but yeah i mean just i mean not even you don't even have to make it a sex thing just anybody like hey hey bro you want to come over to my pad and play some smash Bring your memory card and 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 transfer over your character and we'll battle, and then you're you're the bro and you come over and you even bring your little GameCube like a lunchbox you know like where it has the handle you you're you're fiddle dee deeing skipping down the road and you come into this guy's house and his his stepmom is like busy paying the mortgage and you know like and and then you go down into the dungeon and here he is and there's just there's 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 cobwebs in the doorway. And there's like a general cum smell. There's got to be the cum smell. You got to have the cum smell. <laughs> there's like, I mean, you can see, is this like Pepsi here? I don't know. I can't see what this is exactly. I think that might be a microphone. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what that, it looks like a blue snowball or something. But, I, you know, just all this shit. I like that he still has like the plastic on his mattress here too. One of the mattresses. Just the absolute maximum effort living space. I mean, I mean, who wouldn't who wouldn't want to be in this person's life? To give you the time of day, they'd approach you. Approach you. I'm not going to mention your name, but there is, there is um, there is one, two, three, four, six of you, six of you on this list who I've, who I've. Two of you I've never been friends with. The other ones I've, I've, I've actually were friends with you at one point. Or one point. We're deadliest of enemies now, but at one point... Deadliest we of enemies. But most darkest sinners. Each of you, each of you in some ways got mad at me when I merely hit on you, complimented you, or even just merely tried to befriend you on um, uh -huh. face, Facebook. Facebook. Once Facebook. again. Facebook. Once again, I was legitimately attracted to each of you, especially your natural selves. However, that's me. I think he might actually think he's, like, better than everyone. Because, I mean, who gives a shit that you're attracted to them? Look at you. Any other race, particularly you were top in an Afro-American race, particularly... You were done not only an Afro-American race, but particularly at high in high school, in high school, out there in the real, out there in the real world. You're just another, you're just another woman. You're just another woman. Similar how they tell us men that we're just another, we're just another inward. You women are just, uh, you women are just other women. You're not prize, you're not uh, prizes. No. Why yeah, I think the resounding t -t 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 today, Junior. I think is kind of is kind of being heard across the globe right now. It's just you know you don't want to be you don't want to belittle someone for like the way they talk necessarily. I mean it's it's fine to make a little you know mention of it to acknowledge that that's the way they talk or something, 
maybe be, be, be honest and be like, hey, this makes it a little bit hard to understand this person, but I, re I respect that they're trying, you know. Uh, but, but this guy, I mean, like, if you're gonna be so, like, nasty and be all like, you coulda, you coulda, you coulda had me, you had, you coulda had me, but you did, you didn't, and did, you did, you did, you said no, so now, so now, so, 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 so now, you're just another, you're just another, you just, an, like, just shut up. Just shut. You, you just fucking settle down. You, you come, where do you fucking th where are you, where are you fucking getting off with this? Come on now. Come on now. You come on now. White or other race, unless I know white race or other race of people will like or find you uh, will like or find you um, attractive, unless they le legit legitimately like Afro American women or that person is nerdy and can't get women in their own they can't get women in their own um mm -hmm. um race but all the all i love how much he's turned this into a race thing i don't understand why i'm gonna jump ahead and see if he starts talking about female enemies specifically it was it was it was it was in between avengers infinity war and the end was the it was the hype movie for the next one in game in game and we saw a 90s pre avengers eye patch. my favorite movie avengers n-word great movie theory which people were looking forward to the huge backstory when people saw that film yeah the film made its money but people were disappointed but that's the reason you made money was because of the avengers carol Denver's C captain marvel is not a it, without the now he's just going into like the 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 right wing grifter talking points the ones that are based in truth which are which are that marvel fucking sucks now and they need to stop with this like guys it's captain marvel yeah yeah okay nobody really even cares about captain marvel in the fucking comics anymore why don't you fucking settle down you know, there's a little bit, there's a bit, a bit of truth there, sure, sure. But, uh, y you know, people are really obsessed about that. Uh, Avengers, without the Avengers, like, is not a, a draw. And that's something Disney, that's something Disney and Marvel should have understood when they were making this movie. Lightning was not going to strike twice. Not only lightning, this isn't media from ten years ago. He's mainly complaining about the modern state of Marvel. He probably likes... Marvel from 10 years ago, which is funny because Marvel from 10 years ago would have been like the the fucking second Thor movie and like this the second Avengers, which was also not not great. I didn't I didn't hate it, but it's it's like everybody's least favorite one. Uh um So yeah, I mean 10 years ago Marvel was probably right right up his alley, but god forbid they have a they have a movie about some some ladies. I mean, I I don't know. I'm assuming Captain Marvel two is bad, but you know, because Captain Marvel one was bad, and because and and because the end of WandaVision was bad, and it has that lady in it, and because the other character comes from like a Disney Channel original kids show or something. Because yeah, that movie doesn't seem like it's gonna be that great. I gotta be real. Uh, but, you know, uh, a lot of people make it a whole, you know, they make it the whole culture war thing when really it's just like, I don't know, you can give me a cat. Cat, the, f the sad thing about Captain Marvel is that Carol Danvers was like an interesting character, apparently, for a pretty long time. I didn't read too much of her stuff, but she was like the female Iron Man where she was like troubled as a super as like a as like a non superhero secret identity person. She had like drinking problems and fucking of course she got like super sci fi raped by that one guy in like the two hundred event issue of the Avengers. Uh and that was a whole thing. She had like for she was like forcibly impregnated or something and did not did, did not do so well for her mentally she wasn't she didn't did wasn't great for her that wasn't great for her so there's a lot of cool stuff with her and then they like redesigned her and made her hillary clinton and i don't know it, it's been kind of downhill ever since uh so that's kind of a shame that's a that's a victim of feminism right there um but any anyways he's 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 also upset about modern marvel and i mean i guess that's fair but when that ties in, it's it's one of those funny things. It's like, yeah, everybody's, the, the stop clock is right once a day, you know? Like, 
Ca- Captain Marvel, yes. Uh, not not great. F- female enemies and and it's all race problem. I I don't know about that so much. I don't know about that. Uh, but that's the Super Vader. He's got some more. He's got another rant about Afro American obese women, and then another one. And then and then another video. Wow, he's be- very single minded at this point in time. It's. A video about black women and and Captain Marvel. A video about black women. A video about black women. A video about Captain Marvel. Good. Uh, I'm sure he, you know, I'm sure he has a lot to say about all of them. No, I didn't get a bingo there, but uh, hopefully some people perhaps did. Uh, there was certainly enough potential squares. If you got lucky with your bingo placements, it may have happened. But uh, we're going to move along from Super Vader here. And uh, let me see. Yeah, we've got this fellow here who... uh, I don't know how much of this I can even fucking show. Um, Is this all fine? I think this is all fine. Yeah. Um, So this is a famous individual. I'm going to have you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have you all uh, raise, raise your sangies. Why do we still say stream soon? What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? Jesus Christ, did the stream end? What the fuck is going on? New bingo. Yeah, get a new bingo. Why? What the fuck happened? How did that even happen? Oh, yeah, no, no. OBS is fucked. It's not even showing me the fucking super chats and stuff anymore. Oh, this is good. This is good stuff. I love this so much. It's always so fun. It's always so fun. This time it wasn't my internet. It was my software. Um, I guess. Awesome. Well, uh, and also the mic thing earlier. So that's cool. Well, um, yeah, we're going to move along. This is going to be a famous individual, everybody. I don't even know if we're going to bother with the bingo. You can do a bingo. I guess we will. We'll do the bingo just because it's bingo time. It's bingo stream. But uh, I don't know how much he's really going to... Like like with the last guy, I don't know if he's really going to tick off a lot of boxes. There's a few. There's definitely a few. Uh, Sangi needed. Someone in danger, perhaps. Uh, this is a famous individual. This is someone who I think has been a well-known Twitter figure for, for years. Um, a well-known Twitter figure. Uh, and he is... Uh, he's a dog owner he he really likes dogs and he also um uh, well well i'll just read his description here um uh he is a proud zoo with the little special z um you know the one that's like a dog whistle no pun intended for the zoo people it's the special z the little zeta or whatever uh a proud zoo and vegan with a special V. It's like the copyright symbol, but it's with a V, like inside of a circle. Um, activist. Since 2005. Uh, I debate, educate, and ridicule the zoophobes slash bigots. Zoophobes, ladies and gentlemen. My personality is stoic and introverted. I'm very intelligent. My morality code is utilitarianism. Shut the fuck up! Um, there we go. Um, um, I enjoy gaming, dogs, anime, manga, drawing, animation, and electronic music. I'm an ally to all sexualities, without exceptions. I'm neither a bigot nor a hypocrite. Uh... FYI, supporting all sexualities doesn't mean I support crimes that a few individual uh, individuals of those sexualities may and do may may do. Yeah, he he enjoys dogs. It's not movie Bob. <sighs> I'm uh, uh let me see here. For example, if I support the homophobes, the homophiles slash gays, homophiles. Uh, that doesn't mean I support homophiles that do rape. This guy really wants to be intelligent, doesn't he? This guy, homophiles. Um, 
Um, do rape, do rape. I'm, I'm against criminal acts and don't mind people who do victimless acts. Victimless. Right, right, right. Criminal acts defined as acts that create a victim either by harming them or harming their property. I'm agnostic and against the major religions for obvious reasons. They want to murder us because of our sexuality. So I advocate against religion. And um, he, he lists his total views and sub count uh, in his, his about. And uh, this, is a, this is a famous Twitter individual I've mentioned. Uh, by the name, uh, I don't know if I can show that one. Uh, can I show that? It's a, uh, 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 these are fine, I guess. Uh, by the name of, uh, of, of Alusky, this is the, this is the channel. And, uh, actually, let me see here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, this is better. Yeah, Alusky. It's a famous, uh, Twitter individual. I infamous yes uh i don't know the pro he's probably a blue check mark now in this era let me um let me refresh the bingo we will do a bingo we will do a bingo get yourself a new bingo bottom right click the square get new get yourself a new bingo generate a card this user um i mean Sangi Sangi needed someone in danger. Oh boy, we're off to a good start already. This could actually be possible if we see him on camera and he's a neckbeard. And I mean, our zoophile's not a larger user group. They're the largest user group of all, except for maybe the, the, the except for maybe the Scientologists. But y you know, uh, the stuffed animals could happen. Uh, I don't know, man. This could happen. This could happen. Uh, bleh, bleh. Okay, we gotta be a little careful because there's like dog moose knuckles all over the fucking page here. Um, so if we go to popular here, you'll see, um, you'll see, uh, Rottweiler milk taste like question mark with a little Zulu, uh, Zulu, uh, a little Zulu, Zulu Tango Omega Oscar Delta Mike, um, uh, there. Uh, Rottweiler milk, everybody. And, um, he's gonna drink some dog milk. He has so many dogs, and he dog sits for people. He wants to get dog, dog sitting done. Um, he wants to be a great dog sitter. Let's find out about the Rottweiler milk here. Um, and this is all educational, so it's fine. I can show it. This is all just educational, you know. Um, so he's, he's gonna milk the... Yeah, he's milking the Rottweiler. He's milking... Yeah, he's he's milking it like it's a cow. And he's got a nice little... He's got a nice little shot glass here. Um... Boy, this is bad. Um... Animal in da Yeah, just someone in danger. That's fine. Dogs milking dogs six. Well, he's... He's a dog of a person. Dog milk, yeah. Can I cross off depressing? Oh, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me see. Let me see. I mean, entitled to dog milk, maybe. I don't think we're going to get a bingo. I, I don't think there's even going to be... We don't even have the pleasure, I think, of getting a bingo today. I think there's... There's a chance we don't even get that, everyone. Well, okay, he doesn't want to speak. Wait. Bitter. Bitter. I don't know if he's got an accent or if he's saying a dog name or something. It tastes sweet but also has a significant almondy bitter taste. The milk is also gooey, but still liquid. Goes great with a cup of coffee. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, I mean, I don't even know that there's much else to show, honestly. Uh, it's the fact that he has the channel, really. I mean, I guess there's this. Um... Zoophiles don't get likes. Merry Xmas. 
Some idiots claim that nobody likes zoos and that nobody would ever give us likes to our comments. Say that again. And he's got his whole desktop here. Hang on, what do you got going on? You got Terraria. You got Rogue Legacy 2. All right, he's got his video game in happening on the side. And then over here he's... Well, no, wait, fuck off. You got Minecraft. Why don't you put Minecraft over... What the fuck's wrong with you? You've got all your games over here... And then Minecraft over here? And the mods? What the fuck is wrong with you? Organize your shit! So... G Jesus Christ. Okay, so he's making a whole point. Guys, I do get likes. People do like my stuff. I randomly left a comment... On on a video that's unrelated to any of my bullshit and my zoophile nature and somebody who didn't some t 10 people who didn't know that I was a zoophile and fuck dogs liked my comment uh okay uh well okay you really got him there you got him Okay, well that's fine. That's that's um that's okay. We don't need more of that. We don't need more of that. Uh G Jesus Christ. Uh yeah, a lot of the channel is just videos of his dogs like um relaxing in bed. We can see here's some more here's some more really cool animal abuse. He's going to feed his vegan Rottweiler some freegan double patty cheeseburger. I'm sure that's good for the dog. You're not just feeding it human food, you're feeding it depressing loser human food. Uh. <laughs> Vegan dog. Yeah. It's not just Rottweilers, don't worry, no one's safe. He's got so many dogs. And he does dog sitting, everyone. Oh, the dog ate the whole thing. That's great. That's gotta be so great for the dog. The vegan cheeseburger, double cheeseburger. Jesus God. Vegan dog. Great stuff. Okay, well, I mean, that's enough of that. I don't think we need... There's not too much more. Again, the most of the channel... Oh, God. One of them here is the dog eating a napkin. Uh, what the fuck? Rottweiler eating napkin. He likes to eat... She likes to eat napkins slash toilet paper and also cardboard. Who I'm to judge her if she enjoys it? Yeah, you're real intelligent. Yeah, typical vegan food, basically. So, l lest ye fucking think this is just gonna be him abusing the dog, you know, sexually. Or, like, drinking its milk or whatever fucking weird shit. He's also going to, uh... I mean, he says she likes it. And who, who am I to judge her if she enjoys it? She doesn't look like she's exactly chomping at the bit for it. You're dangling the fucking paper in front of her. It's not like she's chosen to do this. Why are you doing this? There's probably some bodily fluid on that napkin. Oh. You think so? Yeah, the dog doesn't seem like it wants to do that. It doesn't look like it's happy exactly. The dog wasn't like, it's not like the dog just got into your toilet paper and, ah, oh, cute little Rottweiler that I don't have a name for, by the way. It's weird that there's not even a name for the dogs. It's just Rottweiler. They don't even, she doesn't even get a name, I guess. Uh, 
she she got cute little Rottweiler got into my toilet paper again. She's such a scamp. She likes it. Uh, who am I to judge her? No, it's you forcing her. I mean, you're fucking pushing this in her face and she eats it. Which is probably not the only time that something like that happens in this household. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you won't feed the dogs meat, but he'll shove wood pulp into their face. That's good. <sighs> Rottweiler inside tiny dog crate. Vegan Rottweiler hates lettuce. You're gonna love the title of this one, chat. Denies consent to eat it. Y you know, fucking news newspapers or whatever, sure. Uh, lettuce? No thank you. No lettuce for me, thanks. Denies consent. We're gonna. This is the dog denying consent. Everyone. Not te gusta. Not tasty. Lettuce. Lettuce. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it seems like the dog doesn't like the lettuce. Yep. Do dogs fucking eat lettuce, though? Like, why would the dog like lettuce, actually? come to, Like, I'm not a dog guy, but, like, what the fuck would a dog be eating lettuce for? No, you feed the fucking dog a goddamn steak because dogs aren't vegan, you fucking freak. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> dogs eating lettuce, six. Um... Or like dog eating lettuce. Sick. Rottweiler doing tricks. Rottweiler eating tomato. Green mango. Chocolate Oreo cookie. Pizza crusts? He'll really feed this fucking dog anything except for meat. That's that's awesome. Uh, female Rottweiler with 14 nipples is the name of one of these videos. Um, he's... Really into that. He's got a video of it drooling. Um, Labrador and friendly bitch at the park is the name of one of these. Rottweiler tired after running, resting on the grass. Uh, it, 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 somebody suggested that he's saying, he's not saying the dog's names to like protect their identity or something. And I think that's possible. I think there might be a, a grain of truth to that. Uh, protecting the dog's protecting his identity because there's probably some kind there could probably be some way that that would be tra traced back to him maybe i don't know do dogs have like legal names maybe he could just come up with a fucking nickname it's so mechanical and weird the way he just calls them rottweiler he's got he's got one here this is the this is his video uh where he grooms he's guys i can't believe this pet, this this uh, a zoophile is about to get into a grooming scandal. Schnauzer denies consent to nail cut. Grooming video. I can't believe he groomed seven dogs. This is crazy. And he doesn't like the Mario movie. That's just criminal. Absolutely criminal. Okay, so the dog's fucking nails are like its fingers or some shit, right? Like, you don't really do this to a dog. It doesn't seem to like this very much. I mean, at least he, I guess he, he is, you know, they're giving or denying consent. Um, but, yeah, but that's all, uh, depend. that's all depending on how you decide to view it, though, and it's like, you probably aren't sexually gratified by cutting the fucking nails of the dog, but, like, you probably are sexually gratified by fucking the dog, 
and, like, milking its tits and stuff, so... You know, like, if the dog decides to run away from you during that, you'll just be like, Oh, it's just being playful. Ah, oh, he's just being feisty today. You know, but in this scenario, you know, because it's less, there's less motivation for you to feel good. You're, you're kind of more like, yeah, uh, yeah, consent. It's a, it's a fucker. Um, um, sure. Well, we don't need to watch more of this. I don't think the dog's happy. Um, yeah, Labrador and friendly bitch. Cardboard collection of dog cutouts. Uh, loud cicadas in the park. Um, yeah, burrs removal. Sticky seeds on Rottweiler. I don't want to see that. Uh, nobody gives likes to a zoo sexual. Again, he has another video that's like him proving that he, somewhere on the internet he got likes probably unrelated to being a zoo. And, uh, or liked by other zoos, I guess. Uh, and he's like, look, see, people don't all hate us. Someone liked my comments on the internet. I, I'm valid. Um, drying a female Labrador grooming. I can't believe he's got such a groom. This is a crazy grooming scandal, guys. Uh, greeting a random cute husky. A cute husky. Um, uh, Rottweiler puppy bites too hard. Rottweiler mom eats pizza. So it's a lot of just these dogs where it's like, it's, it's shots of dogs, you know, existing. Uh, and, and if it wasn't for the knowledge of who this guy is and what he's into and who his daddy is and what he does, you know, he, uh, he probably, uh, he, it would, it would, a lot of it would maybe just seem like just cute dog videos, but then, you know, a little bit more, uh, there is this. a song by Kavinsky, I guess, that's being used to show that animals can consent for some reason. I'm not sure what this is. Is she being fucked by the dog here? I guess that's what's happening. That's a, it's just a funny little zoo, zoophile comic, I guess. That's what that is. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's, we don't need to see more of that. That's fine. Let me see here. Okay. Well, we're going to move along from Olusky. I didn't get a bingo. I kind of wasn't expecting that I would. But uh, we did utterly disgust the whole audience, and everybody feels bad now. White woman comic, yeah. Yeah. White woman, white woman, white woman, fucking dogs. White woman, white woman, white woman loves dogs. Yeah. Um, um, well, I think this person's male. Um but you know Alusky here uh but that's his that's his youtube channel and uh you know uh i don't i don't think uh i don't think a lot of people on the internet are are necessarily gonna gonna vibe with the stuff that he's putting out there i guess the but that's um that's we're all supposed to be convinced about uh uh some something he he's he he really put us in our place and taught us our lesson about dog consent i guess um uh, we're gonna move along. We're gonna move along. Uh, no more, no more, no more sad dog business. Uh, next up. Um, uh, who, who, who the fuck are you? What are you doing? What are you? It's okay. What? Do, uh, um, are you a person? Not really. No. All right. I, no, no users here. No users here. Hang on. Um, let me see. Did I look at you? Oh no, I didn't look at you. Oh no. Uh, well, these are some more. I, this is a nice uh, segue from the last bingo card. Uh, this is potentially something. This is a channel that's been going for like at least six, seven years, it looks like. At least seven years. Uh, th this is, um, somebody suggested this. I don't remember who. You know who you are. Thank you for the suggestion. This is Bloody Rose Wolf Pack. And, uh, you know, they look like a bloody rose wolf. They look like Therians who would enjoy shifting into animals and stuff. Uh, what happens at the Ren Fair here? They got, they got a, is this going to be a foam adventure? 
No, I guess we should start with the uh, bloody, uh, the welcome, awkward introduction here. What's what's up? <laughs> God damn it! Can't go full screen. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um. New bingo card. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. New bingo card. Hang on. Redo the bingo. What do we got today? What what's the new bingo? Requi user. Uh, do we have like terrible lighting? That should be a bingo square. Depressing. <laughs> uh, hovering over depressing. We'll see how long it takes to get that one. Uh, ominous silence. Claims to be bullied. Uh, you know, lives in. Fi I. We'll look at a few of their videos here, so maybe we'll get something. Maybe we'll get something. Uh. Okay. Come on, folks. You're on camera. <laughs> We're not gonna delete this. We're gonna keep this. Okay. Delete um, this. So, it kind of, I don't know. Go the same way. Oh, they do. Somebody says, oh, look, Spencer. <laughs> I don't know. Careful, don't say that. She'll break your fucking fingers. I don't know what to say, though, because I don't know what your theory is. Somebody says this is Spencer if she was black or Chinese. Yes, so. Okay. That's, that's good. That's good. That's good. This is, I mean, I guess this is... Yeah. No, I mean... And pre and pre op Mama Max too. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to word it. Fraternal okay. twins. Um. Yeah, I give you fourteen going on forty for this one here. Do you want to say it? Like something about Blade Runner twenty twenty five. Starting. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're like a minute into this. Can you fucking people edit the video or something? Okay, well, the name of the pack is gonna be the bloody rose wolf pack so yeah. it seems like it seems like laquifa here has more of a has more of an idea of what they're doing uh so maybe she should be the one to like announce the thing maybe maybe she shouldn't be like hey y you know why don't you say the thing like you know if it's i mean this doesn't seem like they're very coordinated, is what I'm saying. Yeah, so far, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, so far we're the only people. Um, mm -hmm. Alpha. Alpha, probably beta one. Mm -hmm. I, I'll do a video on rankings yeah. later. But I should have brought the packet, in, the page in. I could go get it. But the note is all. Oh back. no, this is classic cringe at this point. This is not zoophile drinking dog milk. This is just. This is just foam adventure shenanigans. This is good times. Right. <laughs> we got foam! It's gonna look like... It's just gonna, like, whitewash everything. Wait, is it open now? Oh, no. It doesn't. It looks weird, though. Well, you say this is just kids, but then you see... If you want to see their new video here... They still make content. As of seven months ago, a new personal update slash introduction. She's also got a brave update, like Breitbart, and a how to growl video. Oh dear, I'm sure Camden Gerard Davis watched this exact video. Don't mind my appearance today. I am sport. Yeah, this is definitely 14 going on 40 because like, because like. I mean, like, she looks like she's the same age that she was seven years ago, but this- this- five years have passed since that one. And the whole... Mind Chemical Romance look... Don't judge me, I am cringe. Very cringe. Anyways, that's besides the point. I am refilming a video that I tried to film a while ago. If you remember when I posted the how to... No, this actually isn't Spencer. Again, I'm- I'm liking this is Spencer if she was black or Chinese. Howl and how to growl or how to bark videos I also um yeah back when I filmed those I also filmed a how to growl video but oh get into it here my notes anymore come on I said in the how to bark and how to howl videos the most important sound the most important thing is like the like at least for me the letter sound that you use oh. um and for me, I usually use the R sound, so like an er noise. Give us a demonstration, doing both please. Barking and howling. I, I won't know what you're talking about until you give us a, a demonstration there, please. At least that's like the base, basic sound that I use anyways. Um, and I also use that for my growling as well. So mm -hmm. 
if, as I said in, I think, my how to, how to bark video, the, um, the sound you sort of made was, like, an... My immortal writer found, yeah. R-O, or R-U. I mean, at the very least, this is probably another victim of the, of the cult. Like a R or ro, and then in the howling video, I said... A, a rut ro sound? Okay. It was, more, it was just an er. For growling, it's... A lot closer to the howling. Um, you use the er sound and that's it, pretty much. Best wolf shifter life. But if you want life. a little bit more of a breathy sound, you're going to want to add an H sound to it. So more like a her. Like, a, like her, saying her. It's saying sir! Her, essentially. And I don't do this very often because the way I do it, I don't think is super, super safe. So don't do this a whole lot, but... She lives on the works. edge. It makes the sound, but don't She's do it dangerous. Um, I wouldn't recommend. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that her sound. She just said her, like hard R. Like she like she walked up to me and she said like hard R. Like say her like hard R. And you're gonna wanna add like gravel. So you know like you know the sound you make when you get irritated, the like uh noise. Uh -huh. Similar to that, but lower pitch or no pitch so just the <clears throat> noise just like a just you know just like a an, an angry noise essentially right that, that's right. all this is just you're making an angry noise Ooh, woo with the hard r um and with, so is this what homestuck did to people she's got those stupid fucking antlers or whatever that angry noise you're gonna do what i did what i showed you in the other videos i think is you do the, the you don't have to do this this is optional but you take you do you take your hands i huh. uh oh wow okay lock the fingers uh -huh. together like this just do that and then you take your palms here right and here uh-huh right there and this is how you break both of your thumbs right and right there uh -huh. you put them together you should have this is how you this is how you get out of handcuffs you got to break both of your wrists it's actually space. a whole thing can you do that yeah we have a space right in between here, right in between your hands, and that and. But what about the fucking room? The room is, I mean, it's embarrassing in its own way. I would say it's a real fucking fire hazard, you know. I mean, because it's like, but all I see is there's just the one candle. There's two candles, but then there's just a whole bunch of like, like wolf pelts and shit. A whole forest died for this bitch to have this room, and 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 there's dream catchers. And, I don't know, she might be, like, native or something. So maybe this is just her in touch with her, like, uh, ancestors. I'm not sure. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I guess the room is, like, the best part of this whole thing. Uh, it, the room is a lot better than what she, like, th this is a lot, a lot went into this room. Her parents really spent a lot on this bedroom. Like, on this side you have your thumbs. They yeah, this right is here. from two years ago. And I mean, it's incredible to think that a video like this came out in 2021. That's all that that should be a bingo space is like, I don't know, uh, anachronistic video and anas anachronistic user. Anytime you get somebody who's like, like the real life superhero guy who looked like his video was from 2006, but he was talking about the last Marvel movie. Like the ana anachronistic user, it would be a would be a great bingo square. And then this feels like it's from like, 2012. Here, so it ends up going like right under your nose, pretty much. So it ends up it ends up doing kind of like this. Yeah, it's endearing, goofy, yeah, and cringe. That's what I do. And then I just go in. Uh, Side of here, and it'll end up sounding kind of. I, I, yeah, I don't understand why the why the, she's chosen to use the fucking like Witcher Tavern music. I. I don't know why she's chosen to use the 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 like Tavern Gwent music. She's 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 not really. This isn't. It's not like she's dressed in like a medieval fashion. She's got like fucking goth GF choker and. A bunch of other bullshit. <laughs> it doesn't look like it belongs in that era, so I don't know why the music choice. You'd think that she could find some, like, I don't know, Paramore instrumentals or something. 
Fucking use use falling in reverse instrumentals. It would be great. Like this? I'm not good at this, so don't judge me. Toss a coin to your user. Something like that. I'm not super good at it, but good. No, that was great. That's how I do it. No, that was excellent. Do that again. That's a terrible growl. Jesus Christ, that you're you're doing a tutorial for how to do this and and I don't think you know. Something like that. Something like that, okay. Right. Well, uh Bloody Rose Wolf Pack teaching me how to growl. Let's find out about uh uh personal updates here. This is her as of seven months ago. This is brand new. Can't go full screen, but it's brand new. Hey guys, it's Alpha Jinx, uh, from the Bloody Rose Wolf Pack. That's gonna take some time to get used to. Uh, also, happy Pride Month! It is Pride Month, and... Of course it is. And I've got my non-binary shirt on, as you can see. Uh, of course you do. And, yeah, happy Pride Month to everyone who... I like that every combination of colors at this point is like a pride flag to someone. Like, I wasn't looking at that and even thinking about pride flag, but... Uh, all right. Is an ally or uh -huh. anyone who's a part of the LGBT community? Wouldn't it, been, wouldn't it have just been really funny if she was like hardcore Trump? You know, like she was, she was, she was one of the people that still had like Trump twenty twenty four on her on her like lawn signs or whatever. No, I mean it, she's exactly the way you think she's gonna be. Anyone at all, which I feel like is the majority of the people watching my videos, I feel like the majority of us are either allies or right in the community. This wig is shedding. I mean, I can't imagine that there's a lot of people outside of the community that, uh, I don't know. I don't think that's normal. Anyways, it's Pride Month. The wig is rejecting you. So happy Pride Month. And... Saying Alpha Jinx. So like, did, so did she? Did she like eat the other person? It's gonna or take a lot to get you. What happened to her friend? Do. Um, I feel like I should pop back in here and. Are you an adult now, though? You're you're like a grown up now. I mean, I mean, you're definitely grown, but are you a grown up? Because you're you're still doing this, huh? Okay. Um. Reintroduce myself, cause it's been so long and um and there have been well i haven't really talked about me i haven't been on here to talk at and all maybe the friend became normal oh that's a good pause frame right there that's the the shock and odd user oh uh, almost in like a year maybe and i feel like i i mean aside from my last video but um so yeah, I want to sort of reintroduce myself since it's been so long and there have been some things that have changed. There's some new kin types that I'm questioning and I want to sort of talk about those a little bit. Uh, this is what happens when you let the cancer metastasize people. Like when you just allow... Oh, uh, sure, honey, do whatever you want. You think you're a wolf now? That's cool. I'm the cool parent. I think that's valid. And now look at this. And... Yeah. Uh, I don't have a script for this, so it's going to be... Oh, God. I don't have a script for this, so it's going to be um, very rambly. And, like, there's going to be a lot of cuts in this video. I apologize in advance. If you go back and watch any of my old videos, you know. So, hang on. I haven't been looking at the bingo. This user... Uh, incoherent bullshit. I'm, I'm, can we change that to just, like, incoherent rambles? Because, like, sometimes it's not a story, but it, they definitely will just ramble about some shit. And it's, uh, it's, yeah, uh, delusional. Uh, I, I want to go with lives in filth just based on her appearance, but that's just mean. Depressing. Uh... Uh, um, no, I, I don't want to, I don't want to mark off self-awareness. It's not, I don't think she's close. I think she's moved further away from self-awareness. Uh, fucking wish they were a kid again. Ominous silence. No, I mean, wish they were a kid again. I don't think they ever stopped being a kid. You know the drill. You know how it is. You know how I am. Didn't There's ask. A lot of cuts. There's a lot of rambling. Yeah. 
I'll do my best, but I make no promises. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get started on this new update, new introduction video, I guess. So great, great. Like I, like, I like how it's just marginally less embarrassing and like awkward than the first one was that was all foam adventure with her friend but now it's like still long pauses it's slightly more edited but it's it's, it's still very awkward you probably heard i and like i explained in my last video i don't go by nova anymore i go by jinx now so i'll be referring to my yeah go for go for fatherless behavior it's a go on fatherless behavior help us alpha jinx from now on well, what's going on? Like you You're no longer the alpha lesbian. We heard I and like I explained in my last video, I don't go by Nova anymore. I go by Jinx now. So I'll be referring to myself as Alpha Jinx from now on. And you're all assholes if you don't agree with my cool new name. And um, <coughs> that's that part. I feel like I've lost touch with the. But like, why though? Why are you? Why are you not the alpha? Never mind. Community a lot recently. Um, like, I don't really know what terminology there is. Yeah, I really need to put the fucking Jeopardy theme on the soundboard because, like, this is yet another today, Junior. <laughs> da 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 Fucking get on with you stupid or bitch like, or like what's going on with the community as of late because literal dead naming i've kind of a lot has been going on in my personal life and i haven't exactly been active in the community at all over the past like year year and a half this is edited and yeah kind of and I, like i said i've kind of lost touch um so I'll be hopefully turning to the rest of the community. To you definitely, the you definitely seems to have lost touch with a lot of things. Yes, uh, I I would agree with that. Help me figure out like what all is new, what all is going on, how the community is now, how, if it's changed at all. You should change the. You know what you should do? Don't add today, Junior. You should change the uh, speech impediment one to 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 to, to today, Junior. Because sometimes it's not a speech impediment. Sometimes it's just they can talk. They're just, they're just like weirdly slow and won't get the fucking point out. You know, like I think that's a that's a good all purpose one. Um. <sighs> because. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Is this Mama Max stuff? Surprisingly, not. What the community is like anymore? Because I haven't exactly been active, so. I guess the next thing I should talk about is my stereotypes or kin types. Um, they haven't changed. I still have the same ones as I've always had. Great. Um, except I'm actually questioning a few more, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm, I'm just not interesting enough. I need to add more kin types. Is this just like your hyper fixations? Like, I mean, like how this week I'm really into Windows XP games. Uh, you, you know, by the way, check out Sid Meier's Sim Golf. I know you probably don't care about golf or necessarily Sim games, but just check out Sid Meier's Sim Golf. It's wonderful. It's a very underrated game. It's wonderful. My shoe, no. Uh huh. Um, but. I mean, is it like that? Is is it literally like if I was just Windows XP gender this week? Like, my kin type this week is the olive theme. You know, I I, I don't know. If you catch my drift, um, I'm like I'm questioning female autism. Okay. A bat. And that's the only one I can really remember off the top of my head at the moment. Now, don't make any jokes about what animal kin type she should be questioning, like potentially a whale or a cow, because that would be very rude and unprofessional of but, you guys, chat members. Don't say anything like that. Um, don't say anything like yeah, that. They, be nice. Other than that, they haven't really changed much. Um. No, 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 no. It's Sid Meier's Sim Golf. There's a different Sim Golf. 
that came out first, and I think it's just like a golf sim. Like, you just play golf. But Sid Meier's Sim Golf, you make the fucking theme parks, you, you know, you, you include, like, alligators and stuff, and you also get to play golf. And I, it's great. I still have... Like, my like, Shuno. Uh-huh. And, like, the cats. Miku Kin. Stereotypes that I have, and, um, the fox stereotype, so on and so forth. This feels so foreign to me because... I'm so not, I'm not, I'm so not used to this anymore. Uh -huh. um, I'm not used to the community. I'm not used to talking about this. So, and again, if there's anything new, any new like terminology and stuff that I should know and that I, you know, or like if things aren't called certain thing, like if things. Oh my God. Today, Junior. Aren't called the same things anymore. If that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm making sense. Um, I guess. No. Let me know in the comments. So, like, somebody in chat says it. I'm also noticing this video here. What happened to this community? Bloody Rose Wolf Pet. This is from four years ago. She seems to have lost touch with this community. Because the fucking community was, like, mostly a bunch of 4chan fucking meme lords pretending that they could shift into fucking wolves. And then a couple of people that were stupid enough and young enough to believe that they could do that. And now most of them have grown up. And now she's still like this, and she's like, Man, the community sure has changed! Well, don't worry, there's still plenty of stupid fucking people on TikTok. You're, you might just be on the wrong platform for it. If there's anything new that I should know about that's come about within the last year or so. Because, again, I'm so out of touch with this community that I um, have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> I don't think you knew what was going on from the start there, lady. Uh, what happened to this community? It's me, Alpha Nova from Wow, the she's dressed like a normal person for once. Crazy. Where's Wolfpack? <clears throat> Again. It's been a while. Sorry about that. It's um, okay. Sorry I haven't been making videos. I will make a new video soon. There will be a new... I'm sorry I didn't make more video, but there's going to be a new one soon. Um. Anyways, thanks for watching. Oh. We need to have a talk. Um, <clears throat> no, this isn't anything like we're breaking up or we're leaving the community. It's not happening. I promise. Uh -huh. We're staying here. Nothing is changing. Um, well, I'll get into that. But as you saw from the title, it's a little bit different than our normal videos. Um, it's not our normal information oh my or, fucking like, god get on with it like whatever video this is a little bit of this is sort of like something that i need to bring up because i saw a post on this topic earlier today or yesterday since it's past 12 now but um i saw a post on this topic and, holy shit i can't even begin to care oh my god oh my god um Bloody Rose Wolf. What happened to her fucking friend? Didn't she have a fucking friend who, who started this with her? Did the friend just move on and become normal? Let's watch the Ren Fair. Hey guys, it's Alpha Nova and Beta Rays. Oh, yeah. We're going to the Ren Fair today. Beta Rays? Okay. Yay. And we're going to vlog it, which is yeah. why we're in the car right now. We haven't even left the house yet, and we we're supposed to leave like an hour ago. But... Yeah, <laughs> kind of happens when we... Because it's a wolf pack, so I guess she's the beta, and this one's the... Okay. Right. I guess if you want to willingly call yourself a beta, okay. And don't give yourself enough time to do things. Yeah, like I messed this up a little. But yeah. Uh, you can't see it with my hair. Yeah. Uh, don't mind the makeup, we did our best. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going... We need to go down to the water shopping center, which is like a little thing for those of you who don't know. Like a little shopping area thing. Pick up oh, yeah, I stuff. should probably fucking slow it down now that there's like a... Now that she's not just... Um... Uh, anyway, so, um... I read a post, and then it, it, it was a virus. And then we're gonna head over. So, yep. Yeah, let's go. 
Let's go. I'm going to the Ren Fair, everyone. They're gonna accept us there. This is really fucking stretching the limits of Ren Fair, I gotta say. Like, cause I, I've gotta say, if I went to a fucking Renaissance Fair, I'm not expecting to see a bunch of fucking jabronis in wolf getups. Like, what the fuck is that? I, I'm there for, like, Game of Thrones bullshit and archery competitions and fucking shit like that. You know, fantasy bullshit? You know, real fantasy bullshit? I mean, well, Renaissance era real world fantasy bullshit, basically. You know, like if they fought a dragon and, and I drank some mead, that would be great. But instead you go there and it's just fucking this girl dressed up as a fucking, once again, fatherless behavior. Hey, you picked them up. Here we go. Yeah, that's Camden back there. Daltonico? <laughs> yes. Yes. I can't believe we finally located- we did it, everybody. Ma we, could, we did what Max could never do, we located the cult. Alright. Off, off we go! <laughs> I'm sorry to all black men who are now just Cameron Gerard the Completionist Davis. What a shame. There's a war on nature. What, is, what the fuck? Okay. What, okay. Cool song. Yeah, I'm a warrior, nature soldier, fighting for you. Uh, okay. We're on a convoy. Uh, we got a great big convoy trucking through the USA. And here we are at the fucking Renaissance Festival. And yeah, you people aren't even showing up in the right fucking gear. Look at these people. They're just dressed like old whiteies. What the fuck are you doing? This guy looks like he's dressed as a bard or something. Why are you fucking crackers coming to the- Get your fucking, like, get your, like, puffy Seinfeld shirts on and show back up when you're fucking ready. What the fuck are you doing? I know they're old ladies, but still. You're ruining the fucking LARP. I mean, but it's it's marginally better to be there and not try to look fancy at all, you know, not try to look period appropriate at all, uh, rather than being there and trying to look like weirdo wolf people that are not really fucking period, like, like it's, it's like, it's like the one fucking Big Bang Theory episode where, like, Sheldon goes to a... A renaissance fair dressed as as like a star trek character because because the idea is they beam down onto a renaissance planet so it's like i'm just there oh well there was a crossover and the the dimensions merged and then there was a virus and now my wolf people are in the renaissance festival and and also harry potter is there and obama and sonic bazinga Oh my god. And there you go. There's these are the people. I mean, I know they work there, but come on people, put in a little more effort. Try to match the vibe. Look at this jaunty fellow. He's very jaunty. Oh, this is a great vlog. Man, I gotta go to a renaissance fair and punch out the first person I see that's not dressed appropriately. Look at that fucking jabroni! That was great! He's got like a fucking pseudo-Jesus. Wait, what did that say? Game over? What is that? What is that, your phone? It's your wallet? Fucking get a period appropriate wallet! What the hell's wrong with you? Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm going insane. Alright. <clears throat> That's the Ren Fair vlog. They're there. They're 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 listening to Nightwish, presumably. Um yeah, there's another how to bark video. There's a there's a there's a lot of these. Uh there's somebody else that joins here. Anubis's personal introduction. It's Anubis, everybody. Anubis okay. is here. here. is my little intro. My theory name is Anubis, but my actual name is Hayden. But I'm trying out the name Felix as, you know, I'm a trans boy. Here we go. 
so I have struggles with names. Right, uh, clearly. So I'd like to be either preferred as Felix or Anubis. Anubis or Felix or Trent, you know, whatever works for you. It makes me it, It's never going to be Bob. Nobody ever wants to transition to, to Bob or like Clive. I guess Clive's more likely than Bob. No one wants to be Bob. It's such a it's such, it's, it's such a sadness. Um, I know most people have one Thigo type or multiple, so they're polytarian, so I'm Oh well, someone's got a good one. They said Asher. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's another good potential name this person should consider. So I this one's a polytherian, by the way. No, she has my black dire wolf. Uh -huh. She has one blue eye and one green eye. Of course uh, fucking of course she does. Uh, of, of course she does. Anubis, my most connected, is a gray black northwestern wolf. He has either bright red eyes or dark red eyes. One or the other, you know, it depends on his, uh, uh, it depends on his libido. Um, Kitsune, she's my fennec fox. She has bright green eyes and it has a dark gray stripe on her tail. Uh, Abaddon, my vampire kin, has a dark shade of red eyes. Or bright blue eyes, but we'll go from very many of the colors. We should have known that eventually people were going to just make Sonic OCs their whole life. I mean, why didn't we know, right? Like, this is just Sonic OCs, but now it's them as a person and, and spiritually and, like, I, I guess sexually. And, like, they're just, their life is now a Sonic OC with bright red eyes or bright green eyes and also he robs banks and also he kills aliens and doesn't afraid of anything and also he beat up sonic he's strong he has gun and then ember he is my red fox he has two black paws and two white paws and has very bright oh yeah eyes. chris chan ahead of the curve as I'm usual i was awakened in summer 2015 i am currently did, did he say kitsune did, he, did was there a kitsune did, but he said kit soon. He said it wrong. Oh. 19, I, was I gotcha. When I was the age of 15, so roughly four and a half to five years in the community. Um. Hang on, what? And I was the age of six pods and had very bright blue eyes. Uh huh. Random uh, facts. I was random facts here. Awakened in summer 2015. I am currently 19. I was awakened when I was the age of 15, so roughly. So for like five years, you've been. You see, this is, again, where it's like, I, I just, this, I, yeah, it's not all valid. You're gonna have to fucking grow up eventually and recognize that this is, like, fucking nonsense. Like, I'm sorry. This is just nonsense. I, I just don't know what to tell you. The, the whole world is not going to just pretend that you're a fucking wolf with green eyes or whatever. That's not gonna happen, so, like, I just, I hope that you find peace in a, in a, in a better way, because... Cause come the fuck on. I mean, I don't want to say like groomed, but yeah, I mean, you, you start out in a, it's like the furries. You start out in an environment that's all, haha, we're all just animals. Isn't that cute and wholesome and welcoming? And then now you're in your, like, you're almost 20 and you're, you're still pretending to be a fucking wolf. Like, I, you, you, no, it's probably bad. It's probably, just be careful. Just be careful. Ugh. <sighs> Um, this is important, but I was in a pack prior to the pack I'm in now, but I was shunned and blocked randomly, so I had no reason. I, had, I don't know a reason. Um, I like to go by Anubis because he is my most strong connected stereotype. Uh, so. Anubis. Um, I didn't want to put this in the fact list because I didn't want to make it super long and I wanted to, like, make these as short as possible uh -huh. but i will be looking forward to pack meets and hangouts and whatever we do as a family as a pack i whatever. clearly have no friends and no attention so i really need more of that but this sounds better in my head but i wrote it down it's um that i am proud to be a trans pan therian boy I just feel so sorry for so many people who have to have this be associated with them. Just, man. Literally. And that I'm also Polly. Of course. So, 
I'm just glad I could find somewhere I'm accepted for who I am. Don't worry, there's gonna be a lot of places. Even though I don't know online. anybody else's sexuality and stuff. Well, I think I know once. I don't know. That's not important, so bye. This is what I, this is, you know, it's all fine when it's things that are like, okay, yeah, gender, the, the way that you express yourself, sure. That's yourself. That's your person. That's a human thing that you're be that you're you know choosing to express in one way or another. But but the whole wolf business, and just it's just like it's. I'm sorry that you're a cliche where it's like I can't, I can't make it not kind of fucking funny when somebody just lists off all of their stupid fucking Twitter pronouns and bio bullshit. I'm a trans poly afab. Fucking wolf stereotype. Like, I'm sorry. It's just funny. It's just funny. All of the things that you, you know, I mean, man, literally. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's Anubis. And I hope that Anubis feels valid and accepted. Um, I, 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 I do. I do. I, ge I generally do. Um, so we're, we're going to move along. We're going to move along. Um. Uh, refresh your bingos. Did I get a? I don't. I don't think I wound up getting a bingo. Unnaturally long pauses for sure. Uh, that one should have been ticked off. Um, no lives and filth. No speech impediment. Uh, insane recording method. No. Uh, no. Not. I'll go. I'll go with entitled. You know, we're very close to a bingo here, actually. But I just. I really, in my heart of hearts, I don't believe that anybody was that close to self awareness. I think that they were all pretty far from self awareness. So like. We could. I mean, I could just, I could just cheat and do this, but no, we're ne none of them were that close to self awareness. I don't, I don't think that that's I, that does that doesn't feel right. Um, well, I'm gonna read some super chats here. Uh, catch up on some stuff. We got some suggestions and things, and and we're open to that. Um, I do have a whole list of fucking people that someone found. I think it was Tivi on the Discord found. Uh, what, like, 40 different fu- He was just posting, like, a day straight, spamming every user in the world. And, I mean, probably a lot of them are garbage, but some of them might be promising. I mean, like, per capita, most users are just boring. But then, every now and then, you find- It's really diamonds in the rough that you're looking for. You're- We're, we're gold mining here. We're, we're- 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 We're fucking, you know- a lot of the a lot of the treasure boxes are gonna just be filled with like garbage, but every now and then there will be a nice little little, little nugget. Um, two bucks from Victor Hugo Martinez. Hello, fellow users. Uh, Amber has become a member. Sad I won't be here for the whole stream, but I hope the users are usering. Users gonna user, am I right? Women be usering. Uh, five bucks from Zen. Holy crap, I'm actually aware of Lars the Juggalo. Check out lasagna juggalo style. Has lima beans and white bread as some ingredients. Oh. Uh, uh, all right. Sounds good. Uh, juggalo style, you say. Um. <laughs> Dork is a denial Scott with two pounds. Dork is a barian clawed cis user type human bean. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not a small bean, but I'm like a medium-sized bean. You know, and, I, and I'm and i a lima bean. That's what I am. Which I don't think is actually a bean. So, I'm like a kidney bean. I'll go with that. Um, uh, Lars the Juggalo. Uh, Alright, he comes up in the autofill. Oh, boy. Lars gets that pneumonia Juggalo style. Lars makes that lasagna, Juggalo style. Oh, and spaghetti. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we might have to hot swap over to the cooking bingo for a minute or two. We might have to... We might have to switch over to the cooking bingo once we do that. Uh, well, thank you for the suggestion. We'll come back to that. Um, let me see here. And that was, again, suggested by uh, Reverend Cudgel originally there. Thank you. Uh, Christopher Baird has become a member... This user fucking became a member. Nico Carrero with two dollars. Total zoo death. Two bucks from Reverend Cudgel. We need a zoo apocalypse. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a that's that's valid and and heard. I that's valid and 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 heckin' heckin' legit. Um, 
Um, Squash DeBoof with one membership. This user. Victor Hugo Martinez with one membership. This user. And Victor Hugo Martinez with one more membership. This is an extreme mega killer rock. We have a new enemy in town. Two bucks from uh, Mikey Jesus. A look inside the vampire werewolf sex cult. I believe so, yes. Five bucks from Reverend Cudgel. How mental would it be if these people were involved with them? I know, the Mama Max thing. It's very similar. I mean, I don't think they were, like, Therians, but they did apparently believe they were fucking werewolves in their fanfic they were doing or something, so. Uh, two bucks from Reverend Cudgel. Can we just know that they got- Can't we just know that they got there? Yeah. Classic. Classic. Two bucks from TV2V's Windows XP stream when you're making me nostalgic. Well, I don't know how well that would play with the streaming, because my computer- It ain't that great, and, uh, I think it's not too bad. It's, like, worse- I was I was doing a Windows ninety eight x uh, uh, a virtual machine at first, but it was it was consistently getting like seventy percent speed in uh, eighty six box, and it was like because I guess it all has to be on one uh, one CPU core or something, uh, and then I switched over to the VMware thing, uh, and I think that that's able to like go on multiple cores so it, it, it it's not too bad to to run xp so it's it's maybe possible it's maybe possible i think it's uh i think that that's that that, that could happen uh i've got a lot of fucking there's a lot of trash i mean there's so much trash that could be potentially played but then i would also want to play good games too and maybe like but i don't want to do like a fucking windows destruction i don't want to just steal the joel bit so don't expect me to download cool toolbars and slayer midis and and a burning super death sword. We don't need any of that. We don't need video tutorials. We don't need none of that. We don't need proto. Complete security is his motto. We don't need any of that. Um, but, you know, if I did that, it would be pretty different. But you know, it'd be it'd be a little similar. It'd be a little similar if you if you're familiar with those classics. Uh, two bucks from straw man, Oklahoma bans furry, Oklahoma bans furries, animal control involved. Yeah, I heard something about conservatives war on furries and like, it was from a channel that I watch that's, you know, it's like a, a, a leftist sort of channel and I just saw the title and maybe there's more to it, but I'm just like, man, I don't know that you know much about furries, you know? I don't know much about like fucking trans issues, but I don't know that you know uh, much. Of, I feel like maybe the furries can be kept out of the fucking schools. I think maybe we can, we can just, I, I think I'm gonna come down staunchly in favor of furries maybe should not be, like, I'm not saying that, like, y you know, you gotta be expelled, but, like, don't allow the fucking kid to wear the, the fucking, the cat ears. Don't let it happen. Don't, don't, don't let it be, like, furries are not to be led around your children. Just don't let that happen. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's a completely apolitical opinion. It's completely apolitical. But furries can't be around the kids. The, this has been proven time and time again. Who the fuck is talking? Is there, like, somebody screaming outside? Hang on. There's, like, loud noises. Trigger warnings. There's loud noises and trigger warnings. Just give me a second. I'm gonna grab a drink. Uh, fucking enjoy the... Enjoy the, uh... Enjoy the, uh, fucking... What, what am I doing here? Enjoy the mystery. I'm not sure about the source of the strain. It sounds like there's like some argument happening. Maybe somebody's fucking trash got run over again. Why did I just unplug my headphones? What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck is wrong? I just unplugged my headphones. Like the stream's over and I'm done. Okay. Good for me. Um, 
Two bucks from Reverend Cudgel. Some people, some people shouldn't be proud. Two bucks from Alan Sampson. Not a user, but a show. Dorbies. It's a real trip. Okay. Uh, d d Dorbies. Oh, okay, it's one of these strange uh, animated things. We could maybe do that. That wouldn't be today. Not today. But uh, I, I would like to see more of these types of things. I did mention one time I'd like to do more weird anim weird 3D animation as a as a stream for, you know, take a look at that. We also, of course, have the, uh, the Mr. Enter video about Dorbies here, so you could maybe watch that, too. Um, but, uh, you know, thank you for the suggestion. Maybe another time. Um, let me see here. Let me see here. Two, uh, two pounds from Niall Scott. You know, dork, dork is a barian, clawed, cis user type human being. I'm doing that thing now where I I put my uh, hands under my chin and, and tilt my head a little to look like a white woman on Instagram. Uh, that's, 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 that's how I reacted to that. And I did a squee. I did a squee. Ten bucks from... Um, uh, um, Ammon Metfees, not to beat a dead horse, but D Gear D Dear Ghidorah, the Anubis person, reminds me so much of my ex. The one who left you for a, for a user? Right. Also, trans poly with delusions of thinking they have spirit foxes and a kitsune connected to them. We got Drunken Donuts, certified sicko. This user... Ten bucks from Ammon Metfees. And of course, I already mentioned how they swore up and down and center that Kratos was not only real, but adopted them as a warrior sibling of Atreus slash Loki, a four foot eleven paunchy person with a galaxy sized ego. Well, I mean, I, I do remember, Th I do remember like, isn't Thor really fat and old in the, uh, in the Ragnarok game? So maybe that's, maybe it's fitting or is that low? Um, um. It might be Odin. I'm thinking of. I don't know, but yeah, uh, maybe uh, you know, maybe maybe that maybe there's some maybe there's some fair, some validity to that. Maybe they're heckin' valid. You don't know. Two bucks from Dalek Queen. There's a furry in my town that hosts kids' events. I mean, there was somebody we saw in the fucking zoo file trans grooming cult pedo cult uh, that we looked at a while ago. Which, by the way, a little update on that. I, you might be wondering where the fucking live clip is of that. I, I made a whole community post mentioning that I was working on it. Uh, it's apparently the, the, the document has been updated, so I might need to add some shit to it. I need to, like, blur out fucking usernames for, for, like, minors, I guess, because the liberals don't want minors to have their names out there. And, uh, and, and I need to, uh, and I need to, uh, and I need to probably, apparently some other people are, like, not involved, but they were implicated originally, so it's gonna involve some editing. Uh, it might wind up being better to just make it as a whole, like, edited video rather than a clip, if it's gonna be that much. So, in other words, it's a, it's gonna be a lot, and I've put it off. But it'll happen. Uh, it, it will happen. It's all, it's high on the priority list. I haven't really been doing much editing. I've been streaming and sleeping and playing Windows XP games, and that's been that's been my fucking that's that's been my thing. I've barely been eating, to be honest. Uh, mm. Let me see here. I say I've barely been eating. I had a whole bunch of fucking chili with chocolate in it a couple days ago. I'm just being an asshole. Ten bucks from Emin Metfees. We're going to continue in just a second here. We're still not done. People don't leave the stream. We're uh, we're about to get back into the users. Ten bucks from Ammon Metfees. Not to mention they somehow convince themselves they regularly have intercourse and non-physical entities. Full climax and everything. I can't get over how much I wrapped up. I got wrapped up in this stuff. Crazy. Well, you know, I guess you're free now of all that. Um, and I guess they're free of you bringing them down and their quest for spiritual enlightenment and validity. Uh, and, and so it's probably for the best that that, you know, ended, you know, on the, the silver lining. You know, it's an interesting anecdote that I'm sure both of you can... Man, I, I, I'm just imagining them. Man, I used to be with this guy, real weirdo, really liked Godzilla, but wasn't down for me being a, wo a werewolf foxkin who sucks off Kratos or whatever. Um... Just wasn't down for that at all, uh, you know. And then they can, they, they, all their friends can be like, "Wow, what a, what a user!" And it could be just like this, you know. It would, it's great. It's, 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 it's just a good, positive thing for everybody involved. Um, 
uh, I say while I posit the idea of this person, like, mocking you horribly. <laughs> but the point is, everybody can do that, and you, you know, you can, and so can they. And so, ultimately, it's for the best that, you know, it's, it's bing, bang, boom. Um, well, uh, we're going to move along. We have some users here. We got to get into, we, 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 we absolutely have to, did I, did I save this person? Yeah, Dorby's has been saved. So that'll be good for a 3D animation stream or something. Uh, we we, we got to get into Lars the Juggalo here. And I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm going to shake up the bingo real quick. Everybody, the bingo that we've been using, courtesy of Milksteak, we're going to... We're going to uh, retire that for just, just this segment. Which, it'll be a shame if they start hit, hitting things on, on that bingo... And, uh, you know, like, it, it becomes, like, a problem. But this is seem this seems to be a cooking channel. At least half of it is cooking. So maybe we'll do the, the cooking bingo while we're, uh... We'll do the cooking bingo while we are, uh, looking at the cooking stuff. And vice versa, we'll do user bingo when we're just looking at him being a user. Let me get the cooking bingo. Where is that? Um, Requi user. That's good. That's a good one. Um, let me see. Do I still have the fucking... Yeah, library. Come on now. Um, yeah, we have Bad Chef Bingo, everybody. It's time for Bad Chef Bingo. It is time for Bad Chef Bingo. Here's your bingo card. We're going to replace the pinned message. Open the new bingo. We could just do double bingo, potentially, but here's the new bingo. If you already have your old bingo, we can do double. But this is the new bingo. This is the bad, sh the bad chef bingo that I made. Uh, nowhere near as fancy as Milk Steak's bingo, because I think Milk Steak paid for like the special fancy, like ten twenty dollar subscription or something. Apparently, it's for life, so that's actually a pretty good deal. But uh, yeah, no, I I, I couldn't be asked. <laughs> in my bingo so we have just regular bad chef bingo and uh bad chef bingo we got looks like actual feces kitchen is a disaster where is it here where is it uh, kitchen is a disaster no seasoning weird texture not even close you're an aberration uh boiling meat undercooked cheese excess even they hate it food hacks quote unquote unintelligible speech greasy mess the free space of course is why um not cooking in the kitchen overcooked definite food poisoning family recipe quote unquote falls apart instantly too much seasoning they like it burned or dirty cookware good meal ruined boxed mix being their recipe uh unhinged rant and personal offense. That one's very subjective. If you see something that's personally offensive to you as like a favorite recipe that they fucked up or something like that, uh, then you do personal offense. That one's that I think that one's gonna be ticked off when we get to the uh, when we get to the spaghetti one there. But we're gonna start with the lasagna one that I was I was told about here. Let's start with this. It's the Lars, the Homeless Juggalo Show, starring Lars, the Homeless Juggalo. Well, I guess if you're a homeless and a juggalo, you've got a lot working against you being, like, able to cook and live. So. What up, juggalos and juggalettes? It's your boy Lars, the Homeless Juggalo. You know, geez, they, you know, they say that why can't the, the homeless just, you know, get themselves a job and, like, a house? And I think I can see visibly why. I, I can see visibly why this guy might be having some trouble blending into society and living. Hello here, and you know, a couple of minutes ago, I was thinking to myself, Lars, you hungry as fuck, what the hell are you gonna eat for lunch today? And that's when I was going through some of your hate mail and I saw a recommendation that sounded like it absolutely fucking slapped. And not that motherfucker who recommended tuna casserole. Fuck that motherfucker. No, I'm talking. Oh, I gotta look at the tuna casserole. That sounds good. Talk about that motherfucker who said, Lars, you need to make that lasagna juggalo style. And you oh, know we're gonna do style, it, son, right. because if not me, then who? If not now, then Lars when? Grandma has made a lot of delectable lasagnas over the years in this here casserole dish. 
But the problem Where with grandma's fuck lasagna is, is my classic, smokeable. it's timeless. Juggalo lasagna is different. It's new, exciting, it contains no less than a bare minimum of three mystery cans and a bag of whatever the fuck that is. Oh, mystery now the first cans. thing you want to do That's to get your lasagna it. started is you want to put a layer of noodles at the bottom. We ain't got no lasagna noodles, but we do have that sandwich bread though, so go ahead and line the bottom uh, of that. And this is gonna actually benefit us in the I long I mean, you gotta give him credit for being homeless, so he's doing what he can, I guess, but you know. Long run, because all Jeez. the deliciousness is gonna come off our ingredients is gonna soak into these. Mwah! All right, it's time for our first mystery can. Will Fago be involved in the lasagna? I don't know. Let's see what we got. Ah, oh, fuck lima beans. Huh! Now, we're gonna put in our first layer of cheese. We have a nice aged cheese here from the Family Dollar Dumpster. A little bit of sliced provolone. Oh, God. Once you got your cheese nice and grated up, it's time for our second mystery. Yeah, I mean, not cooking in a kitchen, I guess. Uh, not cooking in a kitchen. We're, yeah. Um, greasy mess might count for his face, but I think that's, that's not necessary. That's not, we'll see what happens here. Three can. I wonder what this is gonna... Is this fucking applesauce? We're gonna do not... Uh, yeah, we're gonna do not even close. That looks like baby food or something. That You're calling this lasagna. So, I mean, like, I don't know. The, the, my problem now is that you're calling this lasagna. It's like, you could just call it some shit I made, and it would be, all right, well, you're homeless, you did your best, sure. But... You know, you're calling it lasagna. I'm gonna. I'm not grading it as anything other than than a lasagna. Not even close. It's fucking. A Who cans applesauce? Now that we have our applesauce in there, it's time to go ahead and add our next layer of pasta. We're running a little bit low on bread, but fortunately, we got. Boom, the fucking immortal warrior, son. Huh, and huh. he's actually noodles, so, you know, that's going to add a little bit of authenticity to our Italian noodle dish. Yeah, you know, you could have maybe just got, like, two layers of, of ramen noodles, maybe. I mean, I, I don't know, I guess, you know, pit beggars can't be choosers and all that, but, like, you probably have more of those, don't you? So, like, just use that, I don't know, instead of bread. <laughs> Now I like a nice hearty meat-based sauce for my lasagna, so we're gonna take a little bit of this beef flavor and just um, dance it all over the top of the shitty it all apple over. sauce. Yeah. Uh-huh. <coughs> Next we take the Immortal Warrior, we crack him in half, and then we're just gonna set him on top like so. Okay, now this is starting to look proper. Proper. This is our final mystery can. I got high hopes because it looks like some red shit squirted out of the top of it. Here's hoping it's crushed tomatoes or- Oh shit, it's spaghetti rings! Fuck yeah! Fuck yes, Juggalos! Now it's official. Now it is fucking official. We have actual fucking lasagna. It is official. Now all that's left to do is top it off with one last layer of- Yeah, you know, the best way to do this is to cook the actual- uh, can in there with the stuff. Cheese and oh yeah, this is gonna cook up fucking nice. Why is the can in there, sir? Now my sister do be. Wait, why do you have the can in there? You bitch, and she be giving me a hard time. Wait, what's happening? Time and shit, but when she gets my sister do be a bitch home and sees that her worthless brother cooked her a hot meal. What are you doing? She gonna be over. Why is the can in there? Fucking moon ninja. Wait, no, but there's no no, but I'm sorry, but you're homeless, but that doesn't excuse why there's a can in there. That doesn't excuse why there's a can in there. What the fuck is that for? And wait, where did you get a- Where did you get this counter and table and- Worthless brother cooked I thought you were homeless! A hot meal? She gonna be over the fucking moon, ninjas. Alright, ninjas, it's been half an hour. Let's see how our lasagna done did. Done did. Is this Ooh, fake? Sizzling and- Oh, man. Look at that. We have done it, Juggalos. Yeah, he's indoors now, so what the fuck happened? I thought you were homeless. Is this whole thing just a fucking scam? We have made lasagna, Juggalo style. Now, normally we would just choke this shit down, but a fine meal deserves a little bit of ambience, Juggalo style. <laughs> you fat titted fucking bitch. <laughs> you can't act like we rich. Well, does the, is this a song? Does he. Is this an original? <laughs> Your dad can go eat shit. 
It ain't his business who you dick. Is that the Fago? Is that the Fago? Mm -hmm. It ain't his business. Yo, I think that's Fago confirmed. Business who you dick. Mm -hmm. Now there. Don't that look delish? Mm. Ah, Fago. Huh, huh. I believe this is a 2021, a good year. And without further ado, cheers and beers, juggalos and juggalettes. Cheers and beers, dude. Mm. And he's dead. So, I mean, was this the original Grimace Shake? Isn't that just the Grimace Shake meme? Doesn't this predate the Grimace Shake? So was all the fucking... Was, were all those Grimace Shake motherfuckers just ripping off this guy's TikToks? And beers, juggalos and juggalettes. Mmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's like, maybe it's a joke, I guess. Um, uh, Lars ma makes the Luther Burger Juggalos. This is from 12 days ago. It so, I mean, if he's still, if this is a, if this is a scheme or a scam or a schemaz, I don't know, but we're going to reset the bingos. Get yourself a new bingo here. Get yourself a new bingo. Rearrange the bingo. Grab yourself a new bingo. Uh, why, obviously, per, uh, may, you know, there's free space there. It's the uh, Lars, the Homeless Juggalo Show, starring Lars, the Homeless Juggalo. What up, ninjas? It's your boy Lars here, and today we're talking about the Luther Burger, supposedly named after Mr. Luther Vandross himself. But whether or not Luther Vandross actually created the Luther Burger... You know, it's funny how versatile this type of face paint has, has been. Because you can be like, you know... You can be like a, a, a universal Hammer movie monster. You know, you could be like Bella Lugosi, Dracula type of character, you know, and, and this type of face paint might work for you. You could be in a black metal band that burns down churches. You could be in Kiss. You could be in ICP. This, there's so much that you could do with this, this face paint. It's very versatile. Honestly, he should get a job. He's, it's, it's industrious. He's, they should, he picks himself up by his bootstraps. Or it was just created by some guy here in Atlanta who ran out the of the Crow remake. One yeah. One thing we do know for sure is that the Luther Burger is a beef patty, bacon, cheese, sandwiched between two fucking donuts, and I fucks with that. So today we're making the homies. We're making that Luther Burger, Juggalo style. Okay. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure this isn't Lars Ulrich, but he has more dignity than Lars Ulrich. We got a grill nice and set up. And probably more talent on the drums. Up here. Let's go ahead and turn this on and char off all of whatever the hell's left on it from the last time we used it, which was... Is this an actual cooking instrument? This looks like a fucking car. This looks like it's part of the car he's cooking it on. A while ago. Alright, let's check the grill temp and see if it's hot enough. Yeah, Joker adjacent, <laughs> sure. Oh yeah, it's hot enough. He just spit on it, that's good. Ooh, there's some leftovers on the bottom of that butter stick, but... You know what they say, uh, what don't kill you, adds flavor. Car battery recharger, so that's not a grill then. Now while we're waiting for our burger to cook, let's go ahead and talk about some of the other fine ingredients that are going into our culinary creation here today. We have these lovely imitation processed cheese slices here. I mean, obviously not cooking in kitchen is another, uh, another free space here. Uh, I, would, I would also say food hacks, but not really. It feels like food. Ha this feels like the kind of channel that's like, we're doing this juggalo style. There's a cool little tip to make your food more juggle esque. And it's like food hacks, but no, not really. Greasy mess, uh, potentially. That one has some potential. Uh, I mean, even they hate it. Should have been on the last bingo, but I don't think I would have had a bingo anyway. Uh, I, sh I should have marked that one off, but uh, I mean, is this just a joke, though? This might all just be like a, a, a fun. Uh, you know, this might be fun performative cooking, which I think is interesting. A lot of people, you know, when, when it is a video that's clearly meant to just be like cooking in a really insane way, like that's the point of it. A lot of people count that out and they're like, oh, it's not real. It's not real bad cooking. Like the specter of Masao HF cooking with hoarders who 
you know, there's a lot of reasons to believe at this point that he might just be full of shit and his videos might might be a performance and an act. But it's an act that's been going on for like 15 years and he's very good at it. And so like I think there's a definite artistry about bad cooking if that's uh if that's what's going on here. There's you you know, you got that Haritsu guy too who's like he's got very subtle bad cooking if you've seen Haritsu cooking. He uh he's a, he's a is a primarily a TikTok guy, but he has a YouTube channel too, uh, like this. I think this was also TikTok originally, uh. But it, it, you know he cooks and it's, he's like cooking on an iron. He'll make something that looks very nice. He makes food that looks very professional, but in like really kind of disgusting and shitty ways. And so it's yeah, it's performative bad cooking. It's definitely an art form of its own. I don't know, I don't think we should be so harsh against people who are performatively bad cooking, because I think that doesn't necessarily mean that they aren't putting their heart and soul into making good quality content for people. Sold in a 24-pack for the low, low price of $2.49. Now, I ran into a bit of a snag, because unfortunately, bacon is ridiculously expensive. So, looks like me? Oh no, I have a way worse hairline. I had to find something that tastes similar to bacon. Is I wonder what I'd look like with this kind of corpse paint on, though. I should try that sometime. Made of the same animal, and I could get... Maybe I'll get corpse paint for the next fucking cooking stream. I bet that wouldn't get annoying. For less than a dollar. And I think I pulled it off. Grab your trusty Juggalo Field knife, and let's slice us up some bacon. Is that your bacon? Okay, oh, I need two bacon. hands for this. There we go. We uh, you need two hands, do you, fucker? Um, uh, I mean, yeah, it's like a performative thing where it's like, because that's obviously not bacon, but, but he calls it bacon. I mean, you could just call this a wiener burger. That's an interesting idea. I don't think that would be terrible. Uh, but he's calling it bacon for, I guess, the meme. I, I have to assume it's performative, yeah. We got our bacon frying Because you could, like, say that maybe he made that, uh, that lasagna thing and it was meant to be, like, a real thing that he was making and maybe he's not a joke channel. But then it was bad, so he just did the ending where he, like, passes out and he's dead or whatever. Um, maybe this is an attempt to be a little more legitimate? We, we can't necessarily say for sure either way. Uh, although, again, I'm not certain if this is actually a, a grill meant for cooking food or if it's a, a, a piece of a car battery. So, yeah, tough to say. Nicely here, and our burger's looking pretty proper. So let's just let this cook for a little bit, and when we come back, it's time to plate this bitch up. Plate this bitch up. And it's the moment you all been waiting for. First things first, let's get that bacon down. Are, you, are those donuts? Burger patty, on. Oh, ah, good hell. job. Yeah. Those are don't. those are like Krispy Kremes. A little car never affected This it. is really... This is really King Cobra-esque. King Cobra, I, I don't believe, is doing what he does purely performatively. I think he there's an element of it for him. But I think he, he lives it a little bit more than a lot of these people. I think he is a little performative, but not fully. But this feels more more than more than Cobra, but it's similar. This is co this is something I could see Cobra making this. I could easily see Cobra, like replicating this exact recipe in his in his shitty kitchen with his with his unclean cooking utensils. What do I have on the bingo here? Uh, I'm gonna say personal offense because I like burgers a lot. Uh, weird texture, food. I'm fuck it. I'm putting food hacks because it looks like a fucking food hack. It looks like some, wow, you can make a cool burger with donuts, and, like, it's one of the, it's, it's that kind of thing. It's some fucking wacky-ass recipe that's like, oh, isn't this neat? Like, it's from TikTok bullshit. Boiling meat, no, def, uh, maybe food, po I don't know, not definite. No cheese excess, it's fine. Weird texture, too much seasoning, there's no seasoning. We just need the, him to hate it. He needs to hate it, and I've got a bingo. I'm so excited. Falls apart instantly. Well, it fell apart as he was putting it on the thing, but I, no. I mean, there's still a chance. It looks pretty rickety. I think it could fall apart at any moment. Kitchen is a disaster. Well, he's not even in a kitchen. Uh, undercooked. Looks like feces. Not so much. Not so much feces. Um, reminder that looks like actual feces only is only applicable if it's literal feces. If it looks literally like feces, like a brown lump of shit kind of deal. That's only, it's only applicable then. Um, 
Uh, good meal ruined. I mean, I'm going to say good meal ruined. No, no, because, I mean, it's not. It's what? It's a burger? You know, he's so far off from bur- You know, actually, I will, because the burger patty looked okay. The actual burger patty looked like a pretty good burger patty. You know, it looked like it was decently thick, like it's got some, you know, it might have some- I don't know, there might have even been some seasoning in there, but we didn't see that. Uh, but yeah, no, we got some- we got some prospects here, we got some prospects. Tasted nothing. Little Thousand Island dressing. And of course, the most important part. A little, just a little. The second donut, and as you could tell, these ain't just any old ordinary donuts. These are jelly-filled donuts, because we doing a Juggalo style up in here. I like the, I mean, it's really appropriate that Juggalo style just means bad. Like, I mean, Juggalo style just means, yeah, we're doing it poorly. That's what we're doing today, boys. It's going to be real bad. And voila, we have done it, ninjas. Ninjas. We have made that Luther burger. Or I guess in this case, we're going to call it the Lars burger, Juggalo style. And it is fucking glorious. I am honest. I'll be real. I kind of want to try the burger with hot dogs thing. Like, together. I feel like that could be kind of good. This is giving me ideas. The, the You know, you do you fry up a couple hot dogs. You, you cut them in half. And then you just put them beneath the burger. Like, I think that could be kind of real. I think that could be some good shit. I think I'm gonna cry. But not with the, not with the jelly donuts and the bucket of Thousand Island sauce. The... The, the Bukaki Mac, you know, specialty. I almost don't want to eat it, but I want to eat it. Cheers and beers, Juggalos and Juggalos. Suchinoko Burger. Oh, as soon as I figured out how to get at this thing. The state of the American diet. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. He looks like he likes this one. That is bussin'. It's bussin', everybody! It's fucking Guys, it's bussin'! Crazy burger. Um, so it's bussin'. They like it. It's fallen apart instantly, though. Uh, it's close. It looks like a burger. It the, the two donuts do look like burger buns a little bit. Uh, uh, no box mix. It doesn't look undercooked. We haven't seen inside of it. We don't know if the beef is like undercooked in the middle, which it, you know that's that's an easy mistake to make a little bit with burgers. Uh, especially when you're cooking outside and all that. Uh, unintelligible speech. I almost want to do that just to, as a penalty for being Juggalo. But, um, that's fine. No unhinged rant, even, even though he's Juggalo. Uh, well, well, that's, that's uh, amazing. I'm surprised he liked it. I figured the joke at the end of all of these was going to be that he hates them and they're bad. Mm. 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 Can we, man, I want to, I, I... Yeah, I know it's my own bingo, but I'm saying it like it's milk steak running the bingo. Can we add, like, orgasm noises to the cooking bingo? I, man, we might need to revitalize the cooking bingo with another, you know, I, I don't know what we do with that. Just a little, a little chef dead wing for, for each, for each square we mark off, you know, uh, you, you know, crowdsource the bad cooking, I think. We could... It, just like we did with the users, people send in suggestions for what type, what what should be on the square. We should do that with the with the new bingo, with uh, with, with the with the with the uh, the cooking bingo. I think that would be nice. Oh my god. We definitely need orgasm noises, monkey noises while eating should be a bingo square. Um, I mean greasy mess a little bit, but I'm not getting a bingo because I don't say I don't think it's overcooked. I think it's cooked appropriately. It's not under or overcooked. And he didn't hate it. God damn it. Oh, that's that's such bullshit. Man, that is... I was robbed. I was... Fuck that. Fuck that. All right. Well, now now it's the moment we've all been hating for. Um, This is my hated recipe, everyone. Generate yourself a new bingo. He likes the burger. This is my hated recipe. We're going to see him making spaghetti, everybody. I'm very excited. Lars makes spaghetti juggalo style. I'm already going to mark off why. And personal offense. Just preemptively. I'll take it back if it's nice. But I, I'm just... 
I'm I'm aware that this will be a personal offense, so it's fine. I'm just. It's the it Lars, the homeless juggalo show. What up, ninjas? It's your boy Lars here, just... and it's that magical time of the month, homie. That magical stretch of time between now and when I get my food stamps, and I'm fucking broke. Which means, unfortunately, your boy Lars is gonna have to make something that, well, to be honest uh... with you, I really don't like eating. But what choice do I have? It's all we got on hand. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make that spaghetti. So he will. Oh man, oh, you're a cunt. No, you're- you don't like eating spaghetti, but you're fine with the crazy hamburger? And the fucking- I guess the applesauce lasagna was also not to your liking particularly, so I guess that's fair. But the- the- the crazy hamburger, you liked that, though. But, oh no, spaghetti's off the table. Well, maybe- you know, that might be a you problem, sir. Let's not let's let's don't blame spaghetti for you or a bad chef. Let's not do that. Juggalo. Let's style. don't. Now a lot of your boy Lars's problems could be solved just by dragging his fat ass out to Kroger and getting a box of spaghetti. But no, Lars don't play that. You see, Lars don't I play that. I grew up on a farm, ninjas. And if there's one thing I know, is that you don't have to buy spaghetti when you can grow spaghetti. You can tell from oh the color God. on the stalks that these aren't quite ripe yet. But if you look over here, you see we got some. Nice fresh spaghettis, ready oh, for harvesting. It's a funny joke, okay. If you're Italian, you might want to look away for this. This is what passes for humor on TikTok. Now it's time to go ahead and cook our noodles. Start by getting your pasta all nice and bundled up. I buy Trojan condoms add a nice velvety texture to the finished product. Why does he have his pasta in a condom? This is the most performative one. This one is the most cooking as a, as a shit post. That I've seen the other ones at least are kind of believable like the first one I had no trouble believing was something that he might because you've seen like the people in jail cooking like you know lasagna and it's just like Doritos and fucking whipped cream or something you know uh and, and it's usually terrible so I figured it was something like that you know it didn't it was wasn't raising alarm bells until the ending the second one we saw the ending of the other one, but he wound up liking it, and so now this one, he's just shitposting to the max here. This is shitpost max. And again, the bingo doesn't have, it has not accounted for shitpost cooking, effectively. The bingo really, the, the bad chef bingo really needs an update. Boy, Lars Rainwater is a little, uh, gross even by his standards. <laughs> I've been a little too lazy to drain the swamp, so to speak. Luckily for me, while I was hunting for spaghetti plants, I did find this can of Fago that's just been chilling in the bush oh since my November. God. Uh huh. I didn't know this shit expired. I'm pretty sure it'll be all right. You? Yeah. So we're doing this now. Very much so. Interrupting my filming, kitty. Yeah, this is definitely. Oh, he put it in the fucking condom. Now that we have rescued our noodles from this fucking cat, I think we could proceed with making our sauce. Uh-huh. Why is it in the condom, Let's go though? Let's get all that in there. What does that do? Throw in a few Taco Bell sauce packets, because I like my pasta zesty. Uh-huh. Trusty Juggalo zesty. Cooktop version 3.0, courtesy of my boo. Mwah! I love you, bitch. My now boo. we're just going to simmer this, because I don't want to melt our utensil. Almost forgot our trusty melt Juggalo the utensil, secret spices. Yeah. Remember? Yo, he's got some Toronto scum seasoning. Hell yeah. Call me if your pasta sauce is too thick. Add a little Fago. That'll do the trick. Oh my god. Doesn't look like that flat Fago was doing us too many favors, so we're going to improvise a little bit here. Go ahead and get those Why in there. Why was it in a condom? Let's go ahead and crank this all the way to high to see if that does anything to solve Why was it in a up. condom? That did something all right. Damn, that spaghetti looks banging. All right, let's plate oh this my shit god. up. Oh of course, homie, God. it ain't spaghetti without that Parmesan cheese, so go, uh, go into your package drawer and get them Parmesan packets from Papa John's from back when you had Parmesan, Papa John's. Had money. From back when you had money, right. I mean, this is, again, homeless cooking, so there is some level of, like, like, if I didn't know better and I didn't already have the seed of doubt in my mind, I wouldn't necessarily assume that him putting the... Maybe there's like a weird fucking method of cooking spaghetti inside of a condom. I don't fucking know. It's the Fago that makes it obviously bad, and then you look at it and the spaghetti's obviously not cooked, and... Like, I don't think this is a real recipe. I don't think you're meant to actually eat this, but... 
you know, uh, it's the mo it's definitely the most performative. I think it's creative. It's a very creative bad recipe. It kept me it kept me glued to my to my seat. And voila, voila, we have done it, ninjas. We have made that spaghetti juggalo style, and it looks bussin'. Bussin'. Probably gonna have to bust me to the hospital. Cheers and beers, juggalos and juggalos. Is he gonna pass out again? Come on. <laughs> You know, he kind of looks like if Ted Cruz got some corpse paint on, and yeah, I could, I could see that. <laughs> Ow! Fuck it! Oh, that is offensive to all five tastes at once. All five tastes. Oh. Ugh. Out of the way, Kenny. I gotta go huck this where you can't get it. Whew. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I mean, the the ending of the. It's like what were. You, it's kind of like a what were you expecting? Like I guess it's meant to be a joke, but then it's like there's kind of no punchline. I mean, of course it's bad. I don't know what we're supposed. To, I kind of assumed there was going to be more to it than. Well, yeah, it's bad, obviously. All right. Uh, well, that's the Lars the Juggalo's cooking stuff, but he has other stuff here too. Um, for instance. The Lars the Juggalo Christmas special, where he looks like Chris Chan. Look at this video. He looks like Chris Chan with, like, a Joker outfit on. Let me get rid of the bingo for a second. We're gonna go back to the old bingo. We're going back to the user bingo. Let me, uh, refresh with user bingo here. Grab yourself a new... User bingo. What the fuck? How did two people have the same profile picture? That's weird. Two people are rubber ducks and they just posted next to each other. That's crazy. One of you totally stole the other one's fucking... Wow. That's wild. Um, so get grab, grab yourself a merry little bingo there. Let your hearts be light. Um... We got Requi user, and we're back at it with 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 user bingo. Um, this user, and um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at some of his non cooking stuff here. See what he's got for us when he's not uh, being a being a cook, being a chef, being a gourmet, a gourmand, if you will. Lars cooks for his girlfriend. Uh, Lars makes that walking taco. Lars makes random. Lars does that voodoo juggalo style. Oh, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be culturally sensitive. It's the Lars, the homeless juggalo show. Ninjas, this is bad. This is really stinking bad. I just got a text from my bestie, Brian. Okay, well, I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. Um. I don't know uh, what's I don't know what's going on. Um, I I'm scared. I'm disoriented. And um, please put. A, pl do you have? He has a cape on. He doesn't have a shirt on. Ice. For those of you who don't know, he is the number one contributor to the Lars the Juggalo show, and he's got the stinking flu. He knows that the flu is just a uh -huh. gateway illness versus the blue. Then it's pneumonia. Then it's strep throat and. Ball tingling and coughing. The man single-handedly supports my drinking problem. So this is a big deal. Because if he's sick, he can't work. And if he croaks, it'll be the end of the... What the fuck is happening? I'm sorry. We need to go back, 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 back. This is really stinking bad. I just got a textie from my bestie, Bryce. My bestie, Bryce. Uh-huh. For those of you A textie from his bestie. Don't know, he is the number one contributor to the Lars the Juggalo show, and he's got the stinking flu! So the guy who gives him money, the the guy who, 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 the guy who, uh, sails his tugboat. I don't know if, I don't think that makes sense, but the guy who, you know, gives him his money is uh is is not in the position to give him money right now he knows that the flu is just a gateway illness versus the blue then it's pneumonia then it's yeah yeah full sentence of nonsense that's fine um i don't think i have much that's going on here in this video uh incoherent story i'll give you that uh uh f fucking i don't know whiny user 
Okay, maybe a few things. There's been a voice crack, too. Okay, there's been a few th insanity problems, actually. Yeah, all right, all right. Actually, we're cooking now. This could, this is a potential bingo situation in one video. Strep throat and ball tingling and coughing. The man single-handedly supports my drinking problem. So this is a big deal because if he's sick, he can't work. And if he croaks... Well, he's clearly trying to do a character. I mean, like, that's obvious. He's trying to be funny. You know, this is all an attempt to make us laugh. But it's not uh, happening so much, is it? You know? It'll be the end of the Lars and Juggalo show. Not for the reasons he wants it to be. Oh, and my addiction happening. as we know it. My addiction? So we're gonna cure him. What's your addiction, exactly? Juggalo style. Uh, Voodoo, baby! We have arrived in the ritual chamber. Also known as the closet in my sister's <clears throat> spare bedroom. The circle of power has been drawn. We will now- St Story is coherent, just stop having ADHD. St story's coherent once I fucking go back and rewind and we piece it together, you fucking- you, What the fuck's wrong with you? I'll beseech the evil god, Baseki. Yeah, the guy's screaming about the guy- Dude, he's got the flu! There's a poisonous gas! We're all gonna die! Yeah, once you really sit there and analyze it for five minutes, I guess the story's pretty coherent, isn't it, cunt? In order to heal our wounded comrade, Jesus Bryce. Christ. In order for Baseki to visit upon us from the spirit realm and grant us his blessings, a proper vessel must be created to tether him to this world temporarily. Uh. Unfortunately, I don't have a more appropriate vessel on hand, so for the sake of today's video, we will be using this beanie baby. Awesome. No, but it's not a beanie baby. What the fuck is that? That can't be an. Is that what they're. Is that. Did they make fat positive beanie babies and this is the result? God damn it. Seki is a higher the beanie. Woke beanie babies. I can't fucking believe it. He is not immune to avarice. He is not yeah. immune to propaganda. For a monetary offering must be made if we wish to seek his blessing. The Seki, I offer unto you this gold plated Pokemon card. And this token. Yo, is that fat gay Pikachu? For one gameplay at a Stevie B's pizza of your choosing. Do you thirst, oh dark one? Normally an offering of wine would be given, but it's... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Like, that's another element. Is the audio intentionally being fucked with because it keeps jumping? Not just, like, from one ear to mono, but, like, from one ear to the other ear to mono. It's like, it can't... How does that happen? That has to be on purpose, right? Monday, and they don't start selling alcohol in this county until around <clears throat> one o'clock, so... I hope that you will be more than content with my offering of this expensive-ass avocado oil. Oh, Jesus Christ. Make no mistake, Baseki is not a kind god. Therefore, he will not simply cure Bryce, but rather transfer his affliction to somebody off. else. For this reason, we have created this proxy. It's a little Bryce, made out of sugar cookies and royal icing. Isn't he cute? Since Bryce has the flu, we will place these pins in the parts of his body where the flu would afflict him. Nose. <sighs> headache. Yeah, he wants to be... This is trying to be funny. I mean, it really is. And throat. What about chest? Oh, what and, about uh, overall <clears throat> body aches? Uh, while we're at it, uh, let me just go ahead and, uh, you know, that thing you were telling me you had a problem with? <laughs> let's, uh, let's go ahead and knock that out while we're here. That one too, huh? All that remains to do is to cast the ceremonial dagger into the heart of a pig <laughs> and cover ourselves in its entrails to complete the ritual. Awesome. awesome. Wow, yeah. Uh, so I just googled what a live pig would cost us and... <laughs> yeah, uh, so, uh... New plan. Oh, well, that works. <sighs> oh, terrible Baseki, we beseech you for your wisdom. And... And, okay, well, now he's shirtless. No, mark down no shirt. Terrible Baseki. I think we already had no shirt before, but now we get to see more of his glory. Baseki. Oh, terrible Baseki. Oh, terrible Baseki. Oh, no. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Why is your dick out? <laughs> Big shout out to our newest donator, Slutty. Okay, all right. Well, this is this is a comedy thing, I guess. He is trying to be funny, uh, and occasionally he's he's successful. 
Uh, I, I think I'm in support of Lars the Juggalo. He's one of the better Juggalos. It's the Lars. You know, when I take over, he'll be one of the ones that gets to live. You know, one of the one of the few. Um, and, and that's Lars the Juggalo. So thank you for the suggestions there, people. Um, we're going to uh, move along here. And, um, you know, we got a whole list of fucking people that I want to get to here. Let's see. Let me see. Da, 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 the user sleeps tonight. What the fuck is this? Yeah, I I mean Okay. Just some just okay, just some people with uh, mod issues some some mods having having skill issues on the server um let me see so yeah there were hundreds and hundreds of users being posted in the last few days uh on on the discord i mean there's there's so much um let me see where does it start well, there's, there's constantly new ones being posted. This was today? Okay, it wasn't today. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's doing the thing where I can't fucking... Ugh, it breaks your mouse cursor. Okay, hang on. Uh, what would I look like if I was black or Chinese? We got somebody lusting over fucking GLaDOS. Uh, Chugga Conroy. We got... <laughs> A screen cap of the f the the friend of the Sonic Sega gamer from yesterday's stream. Uh, yeah, Ram Ranch guy got arrested for fucking his nephew or something. In fact, there was a whole ass um, there was a whole ass uh, iceberg of Ram Ranch lore that I saw. That's like it starts at the top with you know the top of the iceberg is like yeah Ram Ranch uh is is a funny meme song haha. -ha. And then it, uh, uh, and then it descends into, like, him being sexual on Discord with people and, and all, all sorts of strange stuff. Uh, Ram Ranch guy's got a lot going on in, in his existence. Um, yeah, where the hell is all of this? So let's see. Sonic Sega Gamer yells at Deadwing. Alright, um, wonder what I would look like if I was black or Chinese. Um, people finding out that Feature Man is a pedophile. Okay, we got some people here. Um, let's see. So this is Gamer Man. Um, this is Gamer Man's Lounge. And, um, he's got now three views on this video. Good for him. Welcome. Welcome. The, the Gamer, Gamer Man's, Man's Lounge. Lounge. Awaken, Awaken to play. play. Grab yourself a new um, a new user bingo, by the way. Get yourself a, a... Reawaken your user bingo. Grow your user bingo sexual powers. Um, this user. And, uh, yeah. Let's continue. Consider this video a follow-up channel update video from the year-end presentation that closed off 2023. However, this is where this follow-up channel update video gets very more interesting than ever in this channel, especially throughout the entirety of the Gamer Man's Lounge. Also, there's another elephant in the room that we should address. Because what is with the person saying it gets worse? The video has three views. I know one of them is fucking Tivi. You're meaning to tell me you're the other one? Have we geolocated all three of the people now that have watched this fucking video? Me, you, and the other guy? All three of us are here. Wow, it's a real fucking Avengers. Jesus Christ. There's been recent developments. It gets worse. That have Simple been flips? happening. <clears throat> and with that totally said, the Gamer Man's Lounge will still be around.
We're not going anywhere. The lounge is not going anywhere, and we're still not going anywhere, okay? Anybody has announcement right. video? Go for so, that. It's not like the Gamer Man's Lounge is going to be no more, okay? Like, the Gamer Man's Lounge is going to continue to be this ironic gaming channel that's going to be for gamers, by gamers, that is meant for... Ironic gaming channel. ...for fun and entertainment at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, the Lounge will also come forward with a prediction that I had. And a prediction that I've been having for quite a long time. And there is... is some about the fall of the West. ...serious fears and this is where this follow-up channel update video comes in and here's where i'm going to be coming forward with a very serious prediction talks and like this prediction board, here yes. is that many gamers will burn out from their hobby later in the decade we don't know if this could happen worst case scenario could be this year it could be next year but it's inevitable and that's the thing and the number could be drastically increasing so a drastically increasing number not good and the burnout from gaming might be accountable for gaming's current state we're seeing games get rushed out or jesus fucking christ what a great prediction planning episodes i for predict that i'm gonna shoot myself for modern games and pre-planning episodes for video game classics however Here's where we will go ahead and talk about this. Sorry, buddy. You're not a user. You're just a loser. Um, let me see here. More from Gamer Man. Um, um, we got Dave the Retro Guy here. Yeah, another one of SSG's adult friends. is, is no, longer, no longer with him. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, no, somebody's they were posting the uh the pedo fan site of uh Feature Man, the YouTuber who turns out to have been a sex offender. One of them. Uh we actually found another one recently, that Dave guy. What was his name Dave? I don't know. Um Yeah, there was uh Ralph jerking off on camera. Oh, here we go. Here's the good stuff. Here we go. The Marvel's 2023 movie review from Galantis Fan 2001. You could maybe grab yourself a new bingo. I'm going to stay with my bingo because, I mean, I didn't put anything down on my bingo. The last guy was too fucking boring. Uh, maybe this guy, maybe this guy's Beatles t-shirt will really be saying something. Hey everyone, what is up? This is Galantis Fan EST.2001. And today I'm going to. Um. What's up? This is Gwetis Fan EST.2001. Uh, okay. And today I'm going to be doing a movie review, and it's on a recent movie that came out yesterday. And it was part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, marked as the Dirty Dark film in the Marvel, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh. The Marvels. The sequel to Captain Marvel from 2019. Did you like it? I, I wonder if even this guy liked it. And for those who are watching this, do not watch the <laughs> plot of this one because oh, no, okay. it contains some spoilers. Okay, Skip spoilers. to the next part. If you have seen the movie already... Tell me what you think. Is Brie Larson a whore? Then you will watch the plot. I will. So I just this one's on the two screens. This one's a double screen video. You got to use the two screens to watch the video. This video and then the other video with the two screens. I wanted to let everyone know that this movie review is also going to contain spoilers. Ah. Uh -huh. So yeah, like I've been reminding everyone on newer movies to skip the plot because it will contain spoilers. Yeah, you really want to get spoiled for the fucking Marvels, would you? So, Timeless let's get classic. on with the plot. So, let's get on with it. So the plot of Captain Mar so the plot of the Marvels huh? is where it takes place after the events of. Oh my God! All right, that's a Galantis fan established two thousand one. Um, we're gonna move along. This is um, okay. This is Jeffy. We're not doing. We're not doing Mario Logan right now. Oh, but thank God we have um. 
Is this just a grounded, grounded, grounded? Hang on. My name is Scott. It is. It's grounded, grounded. Okay. Um, well, here's this video from a person we've looked at before, a known user. This is Ali Jessa 2001 and all of you should be happy right now. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's Ali Jessa 2000 here. Hi, Ali. And you don't sound you very should happy. be happy right now. You don't sound happy. All of you should be happy right now. I'm not re because right now. Why? I have something to tell you. Why? You seem and very down. I'm not kidding. I'm not happy. I'm serious. You're bringing me down, too. Because cause here's the thing. What's Next up? year, 2024, um, after I complete my VHS and DVD collection videos... Mark my it off if you have it. ...and other videos on my YouTube channel... After I finish doing all these things next year for 2024, it's time for me to pack up my suitcase, head out the door, and leave YouTube for good. <laughs> oh no. Yep, you heard me. I heard you. I'm I did. I'm leaving YouTube next year, 2024. But why though? Yep. You heard me. I heard I'm, you twice now. Yes. Why though? I'm leaving YouTube next year, 2020. It's like when it's like somebody pausing for laughter in like a comedy set, but then there's no laughter, so that so it's just really awkward. Twenty-four. It's like a sitcom without the fucking laugh track. Yep. You heard me. Okay. Now you guys. Yep. That's right. You. I, yeah. I said it correctly. <sighs> because. He's because cutting it down. I'm quitting YouTube next year, 2024. Well, well, um, here's the thing. What happened was on Christmas Eve. Christmas. Yeah, on Christmas Eve the Christmas. other night, um, Michael Ruffins was texting me. Not Michael Ruffins. That a certain YouTuber, that infamous YouTuber, gave me the middle finger. Oh my God. Yeah, it's no joke. Oh, I remember this one. He gave him, he gave Ali the middle finger and then they got rid of him. They banned him off of the internet because he gave Ali the middle finger and it ruined Christmas for everyone. Guys, this is a catch up to a previous fucking user video. We've already seen this one. I mean, not this one, but we're catching up on the, the situation. Oh, geez. I hope Ali was able to recover from getting the middle finger from that guy. I have proof of it, but... And he even had proof. Second, um, and I have proof of it. And uh, this user is the infamous YouTuber. That's right. Um, I wish I had like, you know, known user, but I don't. I don't. Repeating the same thing though. I'm just gonna fucking put that down. The guy seems to do that. Uh, full, no full sentence of nonsense. No, I'm not getting any. I'm not getting any of these. Maybe he'll say a slur though. That might be fun. Um, uh, I know this YouTuber deleted the video already, but you know what? I don't care. Um, oh, unreasonably this upset. Not getting away with it. I still have proof of it, and and uh, and this YouTuber is not getting away with it. Yeah, you. I would say unreasonably upset. Yeah, I don't have it. Yeah, because that YouTuber gave me the middle finger on Christmas Eve, and Christmas. I was so upset. I was so sad and angry and mad and. So yeah, I see you. Check the community tab. I'll I'll do that. Um, is this for recent stuff? Start singing with Barney the video, and advent the adventures of Mike and Ally a day at the zoo. Oh God, this is an adult, by the way. He was born in two thousand. Um, the Wiggles and Blues Clues. Woohoo, Wiggly Gremlins. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. Happy New Year. All the friends we made, Ali and Mike and the debut and the, uh-huh. 2023 is probably the worst year ever, in my opinion. Same goes with 2021. So many bad stuff happened this year. Like, my grandma passed away in April 10th. 
One of my Barney VHS ta tapes broke in June, and now a YouTuber, Sathvik Rules Established 2001, bullied me and attacking me in August and December. Same goes with Google scammed us about YouTube deleting accounts. Yeah, you know, my grandma died, my Barney tape broke, I'm 20, 24 years old. Um, the only good things that happened this year is I get some good stuff like always. VHS tapes, DVDs, a Barney shirt, Blue's Clues bed, you name it. Oh, a job, a girlfriend, a life, a career. Um, a new show, The Adventures of Mike and Allie, was debuted with Michael Ruffins. Blue's Clues released a pilot, The Wiggles documentary, and that's it. That's all that happened in 2023 that was worthwhile. I'm glad 2023 is going to be over since 2024 is on the way. Let's hope 2024 will be a much better year. And I don't want any more bad stuff happening. So, I mean, once again, we, we saw this yesterday a lot on stream. If you missed yesterday's stream, that's fine. But one of the themes of yesterday's stream was people doing, like, call-out videos about... about you you groomed seven children and also you hate family guy i hate you like you know and so just this guy being like yeah my grandma died and also one of my barney tapes broke and somebody gave me the finger on youtube but i'll you know also also my grandma my, my granddad's pretty upset about that actually but but you know that's fine um yeah, it's uh, interesting uh, how that's weighted. I totally embarrassed myself. What What's in the comments here? Um, yeah, bro, words cannot describe how sorry I feel for your loss this year. Life can be hard, I know. It's really unfortunate what he had to go through this year. I mean, all joking aside, the loss of a Barney tape can really hit a person hard, so... Um, this year was okay for me, but my grandpa passed away on November 6th. And also, the Mario movie was woke. Um, um, Sathvik is back on YouTube. I know. I am on your side. Thanks. You're welcome. Goodbye, Sathvik. Um, in my opinion, 2023 was not bad to me. Okay, well, that's a good opinion, buddy. Um... Fish and chips and Pepsi. Uh, Greeny Award. I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, Stargazer buddies who won the award. Who, who are you people? Who the fuck are you people? You've got no content. Okay, I've seen her. She's part of another. She's another known user. Connection to known user. Kirsten Seethaler. Oh, I don't know you. What's this? Hey there, everyone. Jasper here. All right, fake TV show. Here, I hope you all doing well. Which I want to welcome y'all to the new rebranding channel, A Cuts of Cheese 2.0. Well, hey there, Jasper. Hey there, Munch. What's up? Oh, nothing really. I was hearing that you were making a special announcement today. Well, yes, I was. Oh, is it about the special announcement of the Purple Comet Festival on Planet Purple? Well, uh, no, Munch. I don't recall about that special announcement at all. Oh, well, well, what is this special announcement that you're doing here, Jasper? Well, today's special announcement is, is that I'm... Oh, my God. ...welcoming everyone to the new rebranding channel, A Casa Cheese 2.0. Uh... Casa Cheese 2.0? If the only way that this can be salvaged is if there's a fucking throwdown that happens in the ball pit here. Oh, Jasper, what happened to the original Casa Cheese Entertainment Channel? Well, Bunch. Got taken it over got by liberals. Terminate off of YouTube. Uh, what? Yes, you see, due to uh, some uh, videos that Charles had put uh, unlisted, uh, YouTube had took it down against community guidelines. piracy. But, Jasper. Did he put out a appeal decision to let you two know it was an error mistake? Well, yes, Munch, but due to you two's team of being, you know, you two's team, they... Jesus fucking Christ, I can't believe that that's your video. The Nightmare Remake. That was also long before I became a Chuck E. Cheese OC. Yeah, back to Chelsea. But anyway... Again, it took place in 2020 during the summertime. Oh, good God. Who... 
1984. For at least showbiz. Who in the fuck is gonna watch this, dude? Ugh. Oh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Stop, stop making more of this. 702 of these. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Them. By the time that Five Nights at Freddy's game launched for mobile devices, at least this one has voice acting. And we've had many crazy battles. Never with mind text to speech voice cast. We've got a whole voice cast here, everybody. He used every text to speech in the book. This is crazy. Microsoft Mike was here. Here I thought he stopped doing commission work, but he's here. Them. Well, to answer your question, Mr. Fazbear, I'm preparing for a big football game. Why is Mr. Fazbear foreign? All right, well, that's Kirsten there, and then Matt Mason McGinnis. Uh, I, I, uh, oh god, bored and tired. He's got a hundred fucking streams that are just bored and tired. Good for you, Mason. Um, well, I don't know what I was supposed to see on Ali Jess's fucking community tab uh, here, but there's certainly a, a good amount of it. Uh, he, 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 he posts a lot here. Um, happy birthdaying people. And, uh, oh. Oh. Girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen, Meet my new girlfriend, Gianna. Yep, Gianna from Barney and Friends. She is my girlfriend. I had a crush on her since I was a little boy when she appeared on the show back in the day. She's so beautiful, adorable, and she's the cutest girl. I want to be with her for the rest of my life. So, welcome to the family, my girl. I love new friends and old friends. Hello, Gianna. Welcome to the team. Pretty cool to have a new friend. Wow, that is so cool, Ali. I love making new friends, and congrats, Gianna. Welcome to the team and the club. So nobody's pointing out the fact that his girlfriend is, like, five? Everybody's just down for that, huh? Everyone's just okay with that, then? I see. Permission to kill myself? Granted. Uh, in Minecraft, um, these people cannot be saved. Yeah, old friends and new friends and even a bear. Uh, it's hard not to laugh at this kind of shit. Indeed. Indeed. Is that what I was supposed to see? Because I, 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 I see. Because I, I do see. Once again, this guy's like 24 years old, probably. 23, 24. Uh, Pepsi. My brother, Billy Boy. So this is his brother here. Um, oh no, he gets toy plushies, oh man, this long alien arm holding out the baby blot, baby blot plush, plushie, he, I, ho I hope there's no surgically in, in, implanted holes there, um, uh, M McDonald's logo, that's certainly what it is, that's, that's, that's what it is, yep, that's the McDonald's logo, you identified that, um, Bear in the Big Blue House, Barney favorites. You got anything more? You got any more pedophilia here? Um, Barney and Blue, uh-huh. Jesus Christ. Barney and Blue have been sticking around with me. Wait, wait. After 23 years of being together with my two favorite childhood characters, Barney and Blue, since 2000... It's now time now that we'll be heading in our separate ways next year in 2024. I'm starting to get too old for these characters since I'm getting older. Barney and Blue have been sticking around with me since I was a baby, and we had a super de duper fiddly dee time playing, singing together, and dancing along to some of our favorite songs, watching videos, using our imaginations, playing Blue's Clues, you name it. I'll never forget all the fun memories I had with them. But I'm starting to get a little too old as a 24-year-old. It may well be time to move along uh, with, with, with my life. Um, hot dog, hot dog and cola. Um, 
Um, oh, he said Canadian Thanksgiving, by the way. So mark off Canadian. Do I have Canadian? Do I have Canadian? I don't have Canadian. I'm, I got a, just a fuck, just completely fucked d d bingo. This is a terrible bingo. This is a completely terrible bingo. Um, he's got his own custom stupid ass uh, artism shirt. Uh, deviant core what was the term we I like artism as well deviant core slash artism is how I would describe that whole genre um, Michael Ruffin's grandmother passed away that's a shame I hope that you don't break any Barney tapes or anything cherry coke birthday wishes birthday cake blah 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 so yeah he's got a little girlfriend um, who's uh, who's five or whatever uh, and he's, he's really into that. Um, that's Allie. So Allie's someone you should be concerned about, but don't worry, he's leaving YouTube soon. I'm frustrated and I, c I can't stand it anymore. And it causes me to quit YouTube for good. If you want to know who that YouTuber is, Sophic Rules established 2001. Oh, that scumbag! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sophic gave me the middle finger. He doesn't uh, fucking rule. He drools! Um, when he did a video of it. And here's proof. Wow, he's got the proof and he, everything. He's got the receipts. Yeah. He gave me the middle finger. With no views and everything. It's not a joke. Yeah, he really did give me the middle finger. And I don't like it. Well. Here he thought he here he thought you were into that. It's a lot, Sophic. And uh, yeah, th thanks, Sophic, for that for the Christmas gift. Why is it fourteen minutes? I don't know. And uh, you ruined my Christmas. My Christmas. And it's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. Jesus Christ! Of you. I can't believe you could be so fucking heartless. I mean, come on. I said no drama. And I said no bullying, especially on Christmas or during the holidays. Guys, can I get a positive comments only no bullying? Is that on my bingo? No, of course it isn't. I get nothing. I get nothing. I get beans on my bingo. That's what I get on my fucking bingo. I get fucking nothing. I get shit. I get shit ass nothing. You know, I'm going to give myself licking the window of self-awareness because he was finally getting too old for Barney and Blue's Clues at the age of 24. I think I'm going to give myself that one. Uh, adult child friendship. I could even give myself that one. Hang on, we could have something here. But we're not getting a voice changer. And he's, he might not get sexist, but we, we can, we, there's always hope. There's always hope. Season. But no, you just don't seem to care and you just do it anyway. Even some trolls out there who do that. Come on. Oh yeah, I you can know, do a I, diagonal I bingo. Christmas, and I know I did. Why are we That's staring at his books? And it, well, it's not—it's not books. It's—it's it's VHS tapes. It's his incredible VHS Wiggles Blues Clues Barney collection. Um, the reason we're staring at them is because he, <coughs> for some reason, doesn't want to appear on camera, even though he has before. It's the same reason why when Sonic Sega Gamer does a video about you know, the haters or something, he'll just, like, point a camera at a corner of his room while he talks from off-screen, you know. Um, at least recently, his singing videos have been on camera. But, you know, he's, I don't know, he's hes too, he's too in his feels right now to be on camera, so you get to just look at his DVD collection. It's like ASMR, but for your eyes. And, uh, Bob, I hope you all have a good Merry Christmas um, from yesterday and on Christmas Eve and all that. I know I did too, but but still, my Christmas literally ruined because of Sophic gave me the middle finger. No, Sophic isn't a child. Sophic is two thousand one, so he's like a year younger than this guy, but he's still like twenty one, twenty 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 two years old. Yeah, Sophic, you ruined my Christmas. Thanks a lot. And because of this, I am quitting YouTube for good. Thanks to you, Sophic. Huh. Yeah, I I'm quitting YouTube for good. And, and you know, if you ever get pushback from people, what you should definitely do is be like, "Well, I guess I'm quitting immediately then."
You know, that's good. That that establishes you as a as a strong individual. And there's nothing strong any, will. And there's nothing you can do about it. Uh huh. Yeah, there is nothing you can do about it because and because no one's gonna stop me. You can't stop me because I am not going to change my mind. Do re repetitious or whatever on the on the bingo. What do we have? We got more. We got more receipts. What the what the fuck's going on? Whoa 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 whoa. Sophic, he might be a real like, monster. Um, like I have proof and evidence. And again, Sophic, you're not getting away with this. You are. You'll be wiggling, sailing around the world. Splish splash. Rig rig. Big red boat. US DVD. Toot Toot Real DVD and more. I'm not getting those DVDs because two things. I already have them on VHS and I never owned the DVDs as a kid. Those videos are on DVD. Excuse me. Not accepting that. Fine. Yeah. He's not accepting that. All right. Well, in that case, I guess fuck that guy. I mean... This is not the first time that we've seen drama dedicated to, like, it, these people texting each other and they'll be like, hey, hey, I'm 12 and your videos help me feel good. Can you please talk about Barney 5? And then they go, no, I'm never talking about Barney 5. That is a personal question. Do not ask me personal questions. And the kid goes, oh, I'm sorry, but I thought you were my friend. Please talk about Barney 5. No! And then they block them and make a 20-minute video exposing a criminal um, being, you know, that child. Uh, in this case, I think it's another adult at least, but still that kind of, No, you will do what I say. You will make a video about this VHS DVD. You will. You must. I'm not accepting my decision. Yeah. Someone yes. says it's like two frogs fighting each other. Sophic won't let me complete. Sophic won't let me um, complete my Wiggles DV collection the way it is. Mm -hmm. I have all the Wiggles DVs I have. I don't want to get any more Wiggles DVs. That's a really good. I like that. That's a healthy way of looking at collecting as a hobby. I, you know, just I don't need to have every you know thing in this collection. I just need to have the ones that I want. You know. And then that's my collection. You know, there you go. But, uh, you know, I mean, that's still, it's quite a lot of DVDs and stuff that you have there. And, uh, Sophic, um, I am not going to get any more Wiggles DVDs. I have all the ones I have. I love what a meme it has become that I'll make another video about Movie Bob. Like, they're trying to, the, the, these toxic users in chat, the most doc, the most darkest users are in chat right now and they're telling me you will make another video on movie bob and i guess i guess if i say no you're gonna say i don't accept that well it's just such a funny meme now because like every time we look at movie bob it's more boring than the last time he's such a dullard of a human being he's so fucking uninteresting to listen to or talk about or acknowledge the existence of like yeah, I'll make another fucking movie Bob video. It'll be the last thing I ever do, and it'll get no views, because it shouldn't. So, yeah. Fucking um, hell. Yeah, Sophic, thanks a lot. It's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. And, uh, again, you should be happy that I'm quitting YouTube. Now. Bob movie? Oh, that would be great. So, yeah. Um. So, yeah. Basically, like, uh, and, uh pretty much. everybody out there, um... Do not make me change my mind. And also, there's nothing all of you can do about it. That I, all right. I, and I'm pretty sure Santa Claus would have put you on the naughty list this year. Yeah, that's right, Seth Vic. Santa Claus would have put you on there. Doofus had no right to be doing this to you. That bitch. Just calling them a bitch and a doofus in the same sentence without a single hint of irony. That's what we're here for. That is the essence of a user rant right here. Like, distilled into one sentence. Doofus had no right to be doing that to you. That bitch. It's a frowny emoji. I don't know what to say about you leaving YouTube. All I can say is I wish you the best in life next year and I hope all goes well for you. And yes, it's your decision, no one else's.
We still have other things to do before you leave. So, yeah. But still, Doofus had no right to be doing that to you or anyone else, especially during the holidays. Well, he had exactly every right. It's free expression and freedom of speech. Fuck off. What are you... What is wrong with... What did they teach in fucking schools 20 years ago? Jesus Christ. We'll really miss you. I'm sorry it happened to you, and I hope things will be better. Like, it's a whole community of people that are just willing to be like, Yep, some guy gave you a middle finger and now you're quitting YouTube forever. What a shame. I feel so sorry for you. You're such a, a, a you're such a fucking fragile little leaf. You're gonna you're gonna break if we if we show you any kind of like. Are you sure? Are you sure you can't just really? You can't just stick around. I don't know. I I, I don't know. That's kind of fucking pathetic. I'm, nobody's gonna tell you that that's pathetic. I guess that wouldn't be valid. That wouldn't be. You wouldn't be. You wouldn't feel valid then. Um. Well, Ali Jessa, we're all gonna feel happy. Um. We're gonna continue here. And we're gonna get we're gonna continue here. We got some people making fake guns or something. Um apparently we've got a real voice uh we got a real voice grounded grounded go animate rant video. So not a text to speech, but a real voice. And they're talking about the the the, the fucking Ouya. They're, they're talking about the Ouya, and it's from six days ago? All right. Keep, keep your bingos. We're still just down a general use rabbit hole of some, some fucking Stugats that I, that I was recommended on the, 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 the Milk Barn chat on the Discord. Oh my god, mark down the butt rock anime AMV intro. I don't care that it's not really an AMV, it's a butt rock intro. We're going full fucking Black Sabbath. At least this one's only like 10 seconds. And then we got another intro. Mason Velez's Rant House. Triple Rant House number 15. Somehow both episodes 72 and 15. All right, my fellow peeps. Looks like we got another rent house installation. This is a quality voice. This this reminds me of this reminds me of good content and 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 happy times. This is a good voice. I can see him screaming. Up. I could literally hear him saying my my name and screaming about trolls. Like, this is a good voice. This is promising for this week. So yeah, there are three segments and so, two of them yeah. are requested by Oliver Hood and Miss David Fitz shirt. Oh. Okay, so segment number one is Caillou's Punishment Day. Yeah, it, it was fun at first, but right now it's gone taken too far nowadays. And segment number two is Oya. Oh yeah, I haven't heard of that fucking anime shit. What? Yeah, but yeah, let's start that shit. What? Regardless. So, so for context, because many people probably don't know, the, the fucking Ouya came out in, like, 2013, and it was a Kickstarter console that was meant to basically play phone games, essentially. Uh, and it was, like, really a huge failure, and everything about it sucked ass, and everybody made jokes about it, and nobody liked it. And in this day and age, it's terrible and useless. So, the Ouya is a meme. It's a, one of those products that just became a meme. It's like the Scarp Lesser Resser or something. It's just a it's just a meme. But it also came out over a decade ago, I'm pretty sure. So, like, what the fuck is happening here? And segment number three is Sega 32X. Yep, that fucking console add-on for the Genesis that failed to impress. Okay, let's get on with them. Okay. So starting off with uh... so starting off with Caillou's punishment day. I have no idea what this even means. This is the first part of the rant, I guess. The other two things are rants about like gaming equipment, and then what is this like a rant about another Go Animate video or something? Two thousand fifteen. I've been watching Go Thug Two Forty Seven's um, punishment day videos out of Caillou. Oh Those God. punishment days uh, out of Caillou were funny at first. Uh -huh. But as the start of uh, 2016, yeah, the same year that Julian 3535 
uh, started the Red Teeth Boris series. Uh huh. Yeah, the punishment. 2015. So why are you living like a decade in the past? Just wait until this guy gets to Gamergate. Days of Caillou is like st- like the Ouya the fucking 2015 Caillou videos. Like here, I think I'm living in an in, in an infinite time capsule because like. I, I, I watch a best of the worst video, you know, I rewatch an old video and I'm like, wow, wait, this is six years old now? Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. This one came out like, like the first Black Spine was in like, I don't know, tw- 2018 or something. 2016, I think. It's been a long time. But like, I don't know, you're ranting about this like ancient fucking shit from some other channel from like 2015 i don't know Let's fucking find something new to watch Jesus starting Christ. to get stale they're losing interest towards them and user uh, time years, loop two to three years later uh, they're getting fucking sick of it they're getting sick of fucking tired of caillou getting a punishment day from his own father boris boris right. uh, and then they claim that this is child abuse child yeah i agree abuse. this is pure child abuse well, okay, well, that's the entire genre of grounded, grounded, grounded Caillou shit. It's it's all child abuse. It's child abuse all the way down. Always has been. Yeah. It's starting to get too far, uh, just as far as, as the eye could see. Okay, so, where do I fucking start? Yeah, besides the intros... I mean, I besides know, complaining the, about ten plus old year year old media, uh, that would definitely be on there. I've got such an unfortunate bingo though right now. I mean, just such an unfortunate. I mean, I, I I don't know. We probably have had a portrait mode, but I haven't noticed it. No gross mouth noises, no fake crying, no real crying either. I don't have fake crying, but I've got real crying. No British even? Have we even had a British so far? Jesus Christ. The the context I just uh, said earlier. Well, come to think of it, uh, between the punishment days of Caillou and Pencil Neck, uh, I should say that I am glad that I chose the right way by making a punishment day out of Pencil Neck. Because all that Pencil Neck does is uh, treating Caillou like he's the spawn of Satan. What the hell? That's so heartless. Okay, when do we get to the Ouya rant? Here we go. Segment two, Ouya. So he gets people... This is like the old fucking... Please do I hate Mars bars thing. The I hate everything thing where it's like... People, I guess, request him to do rants. Why? About the Ouya? Why would you request... The rant has to come from a place of, like, personal... It has to come from a personal thing. It has to be, like, something that you, you know, you you feel strongly about a thing, so you rant. You can't just... Okay, well, maybe he does feel strongly. Maybe he, this has come up before, and somebody was like, Hey, you clearly have a lot of thoughts about the Ouya. Why don't you do a rant video about it? Okay, I apologize for uh, taking the word anime out of context when I'm thinking about Ouya. What? I, I thought it was something. But, yeah. I'm, I thought it was something, too, and then it was just the Ouya. Not perfect, like, um... What did he think the Ouya was, though? It thought it was an anime thing? He did say something about it being anime earlier. Is it... Did he think it was, like, oh whoa? Did he think it was, like, like an uwu or something? Uh, maybe. Like any of these people expect me to be. Well, anyways, let's just get on with it. Uh, wh- okay, next... No, no, let's go back with it. What, what did you just say? I'm not perfect like um, like any of these people expect me to be. Oh. Well, anyways, let's just get on with it. Okay. Okay, no next is. segment, Oya. Oh, yeah. Oya. Oh, yeah. It is an Android-based micro console developed by Oya Incorporated. Uh, Julie Ehrman, you Herman, found the project in 2012... Bringing in designer. Is this what the is this what the uh, the Wikipedia says for the Ouya? Wow. You must be hard to collaborate on its design. And Muffy Gundali. I wonder if he's lit. Hang on, I, I have to see if he's actually reading the the Ouya Wikipedia. Let's see here. Ouya. It's a seventy-five meter micro console. 
Uh, yeah, I, it might not be. Yeah, it might not be just from from Wikipedia because I'm seeing Eve Behar collaborate on the design. Oh no, no, it is. No, yeah, he literally is just reading the Wikipedia. This is his rant video. Console default. Hey, next segment. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It is an Android-based micro console developed by Oya Incorporated. Uh, Julie Herman, you Herman, you Herman. found the project in 2012, bringing in designer Yves Bihar Yves. to collaborate on its design, and Muffy Gadali as VP of product management to put together an engineering team. Uh -huh. Development was funded via Kickstarter, raising 8.5 million U.S. dollars, becoming one of the website's highest earning projects in its history. Wow, that's so great. That's so awesome, Internet Historian. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so units started to skip uh, to Kickstarter backers in March 2013 and were released to the general public in June 2013. Wait, so are you actually just reading the whole... Is there anything more to this? Licensing fees. All games were initially required to have some kind of free-to-play aspect. Whether they this is literally his rant? Are you fucking kidding me? Hey. Oh, shit. Okay. okay, I think it stopped. I think we stopped with the with the Wikipedia once we get to... Oh, shit! This is 99 US dollars. Oh, come on! I would I would spend that fucking money on Klonoa, Marvel vs. Hang on, okay, we are done. All right, the, the rant has begun. Apps such as Twitch and the Cody Media Center. It runs a modified version of Android Jelly Bean with rooting being officially encouraged. The console's hardware design allows it to be easily opened up, easily. requiring only a standard screwdriver for easy modding and possible hardware add-ons. Wow. Okay, all systems can be used as development kits, uh -huh. allowing any Oya owner to be a develop wow. to also be a developer without the need for licensing fees. Awesome. All games were initially required to have some uh -huh. kind of free to play aspect. That's so great. Oh shit. Where where do we get oh, to this? We'll have optional purchasable upgrades levels uh. or other in game items. This requirement was later removed. Oh shit. Okay, now we're broken free of the chains, everyone. We're free we're free men now. Okay, so let's hear about this Oya shit. Oh yeah. It's a micro console. It was released back in June twenty fifth, two thousand thirteen. Why did you read all of that if you're just going to now like summarize it in your own words? The lifespan just lasted up to two fucking years. And just pepper in the fuck word a couple times to make it a rant, I guess. Two fucking years? Are you fucking stupid? What a shitload of fuck! What the fuck? Okay, the retail... What were they thinking? This is 99 US dollars. Oh, come on! I would I would spend that fucking money on Klonoa, Marvel vs. Capcom, or any of the fucking rare games that are like that fucking pricey. Shit! Oh my god, Lois! That's such a fucking ripoff, Lois! Holy shit! Oh yeah, more like, oh yeah, fucking shit out my ass! Oh my god, Brian! And guess what? That console was continued. This is July monkey fuck! Sucks monkey fuck! Sucks monkey fuck! Fifteen. Four days after my seventeenth birthday. When? When was Four this? Four days after my... And guess what? That console was continued back in July 27th, 2015. So, in 2015, he was 17. And so that means he's fucking what now? He's a sussy what year old user? What does that, what does that come, come out to? My math is bad. 25? Days yeah, 25. after my 17th birthday. Oh, shit. Okay, inside the <sighs> hardware, it, it has... It is a 75 millimeter... He just, he just reads the hardware for the thing. Awesome. ...cube designed to be used with a TV as a display via an HDMI connection. Awesome. It ships with a single wireless controller, but it can also some more support... What a great... What a great... Enforcing rant. a company to wind down the business. Okay, okay. What do you do, Mason Velez? What do you do? Pencil neck reads hate comments number 73, gender swapped part 6. 
again, shout outs to for you, because they know. They know that this is the next one I wanted to click on. Absolutely. Sure. Sounds great. Just had three people in a row say, what a title. That's a real hive mind right there. Give yourselves a pat on the back. This series is such bullshit. If you keep giving me more hate comments, your asses will be grounded until Mason gets terminated. Piss off! Piss off! Hell yeah, dude. Everything you see in the credits that has an M or a V was a production company associated with Mason Velez. Wait, 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 hang on. Oh, you're right, I can't believe that we're back in hell. Oh god, how can this shit- So I thought he did, uh, I thought we were reading hate comments. I, is this like a fiction- this is fictionalized hate comments, everybody. Raid Venom says, shut up you red teeth losers, I am not gonna stop spamming, and there's nothing you all could do about it. See, like, this is an interesting thing to think about. Like, all these people who grow up watching this Plotagon shit, and they, some of them are now, like, in their 20s, but some of them, they're still making it. They're still making these weird text-to-speech cartoons. And we were watching some yesterday, and we're watching this kind of shit now. But you just think about the uprising of fucking AI. And, like, I don't know, there's some people who are now going to be, like, genetically... And same with, like... The same with fucking, um... Uh, Sonic Finger families and shit. You know, all that insane, strange bullshit. It's You're now, like, predisposed... To be okay with this kind of shit, because you've been grown, you grew up on listening to spooky AI voices, and you think that that you'll 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 wind up just thinking that that sounds like normal, and people will start talking like spooky AI people. I, I don't know, man. It's just it's a transhumanist nightmare. The world we're heading into. Oh, shove it up your ass, you good for nothing racist. And call Justin Bryant to Justin Bieber. I dare you. I fucking dare you. Shut up, Gay Venom. Justin Bryant's new name- Shut up, Gay Venom. Name is Justin Bieber. Here is the comment that toned down the spamming level, for example. So are these real comments that this user got, and now they're translating it into a Plotagon storyline? Is that what's happening? Pencil Neck is entitled. Your Emperor Boris is not entitled. These hate comments are entitled. New music well, for- I mean, I saw a video the other day talking about how AI is making us less human, and, like, there was a whole segment where this- the woman doing the video, like, recreated herself using an AI thing, and you could immediately see, like, she was, you know, laughing and joking and being numb nuts. Uh, being a laughing, joking numb nuts, and then you switch to the AI version, and it's just, Hello, I am the AI version of me. Uh, hello. And it was, like, believable. It looked like her. It sounded like her, but it wasn't, you know, a human. I don't know. There was a whole thing about that. So now I'm just, like, thinking about it. And, yeah, I mean, just this generation of people that are growing up watching shit like this, you're you're going to be predisposed to thinking that computer bullshit is, like, human at, at all. Like... Like, a lot of these people are probably struggling with human interaction to some degree, and so they do this, like, go animate shit, and this becomes their idea of being people. Like, I, I don't know, it's just, it's a weird thing to grow up on, and then be an adult, and now you're, you're, you're living your life, and you still do Plotagon. This guy's 25. When did he make this? Two days ago? Yeah, this guy's, like, at least 25. Pencil neck reads hate comments. What is this mess? Ah! Uh, turn off that racist music right now, right this instant, you good for nothing racist. Oh, are these Karens? LBD Favor says, Lucretia trash, Lucretia trash, Lucretia trash, Lucretia trash, Lucretia trash. I hope we get to hear every single one. Hey, Lucretia trash. Oh, okay, alright. Lucretia talk about trash, Lucretia, Lucretia like trash. that. This is actually edited, like, decently, where it, it's, uh, you have... You have her continuing to say Lucretia Trash, but then... Why do they keep changing their avatars? Lucretia Trash. Like, who, who... 
What is happening? What the fuck is happening? From the crow baby, Lucrece from the crow baby, Lucrece from the crow baby, Lucrece from the crow baby. We need to have a space on the bingo. I, I would, I would mark for like insanity problems. We need a space on the bingo that's just, uh, yeah, full sentence of nonsense, absolutely. We need a space that's just, like, I, I don't know, simulation of what it's like to be insane. Like, this is, this is like, it, it feels like one of those videos that you'd watch that's like, this is what it's like to live your life with schizophrenia. And you watch it and it's just... Lucretia McCry baby, Lucretia McCry baby, Lucretia Mc and the people's bodies are changing and there's like robot voices and holy shit I'm losing my insanity as we fucking speak. From the Holy baby. shit! Lucrece from the crow baby. Lucrece from the crow baby. We be from the crow baby. Oh yeah, rage. Do rage. Baby. Shut up, Lucrece from the evil. That's your fault, and you're the troll now. Shut up, G R R R R R R R R R R R R. Disturbingly you're a racist, dumb. Little bitch, Nick Vavo. You are racist. I mean, this is. I normally wouldn't watch this kind of plotagon thing, but this is interesting because it reminds me of like Omni Kings. It reminds me of the same kind of, like, is this sort of a meta fiction where this is. Like, real comments that they got, but they're animating it in Go Animate, Plotagon, or whatever, Beyond, whichever one this is. And, and like, these are real people that are ap upset with them, and now they're getting their revenge against those commenters in Plotagon. It could be that, or it could be, otherwise, entirely fictionalized fake comments that their characters are receiving that are being animated in this, this thing. And no, neither of those answers is better. They're both pathetic. Shut the pencil neck, nobody cares, shut the pencil neck, nobody cares, shut the pencil neck, nobody cares, So can we not do swa 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 anymore? Because we saw some swa 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 recently. They did that on a, a, a stream that some, some, some DVD and VHS users were doing. They, they had a little classic Microsoft Sam swa 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 swa. But a lot of this has taken on a very swa 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 kind of feeling. So I don't know why we can't do that. Uh, I don't know why we're, we're just spamming shut up, pencil neck, nobody cares, and like, you know, g r r r r g r r r r r r r r r r the pencil neck nobody cares shut 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 the shut the pencil neck nobody cares shut the pencil neck nobody cares lord this is the commenter but again their their visage keeps changing every time we cut back to these people talking unless this is supposed to be different characters that are having arguments it says gender swapped but like their entire appearance also swaps it's not just gender they com they're completely changing character models every time they we cut back to the people. So it's not really a gender swap. This is so fucking confusing, and it's 22 minutes long. Loric Music says, Pencil Neck got banned from Roblox. Shut up, gay Rick. Stop comparing your red teeth emperor with websites that he hates. Giraffe is the stupid woman child should put out of existence herself. The woman child? Oh man, put out of existence herself. This is the other thing you all have to be afraid of, is this bizarre new ad-friendly Zoomer talk. Like, unalive and, you know, sewer slide and like, I mean that one's kind of funny. <laughs> that just makes me imagine like a like a sewer level in a Crash Bandicoot game called the sewer slide. And it's like one of those ones where you're sliding toward the camera. Like, oh, avoid the dynamite boxes. Oh, no. Uh, you know, but, but like, put out of existence herself. Yeah, corn. Just this weird, like, TikTok-friendly way of talking that people do now. And I say that as if this is the new generation. But this is the, 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 the other unfortunate, like, offshoot of that whole thing where it's like, this is, this is the way people talk now. And this guy is like 25 years old. This guy is a sussy 25 year old user. He doesn't even really count as like a zoomer or anything. He, he's just like, he's just in that culture cause, cause you know, he's a man baby, basically. Now, you go to hell, Gayrick, just go to hell. Ginger is going to throw a holy water Game to kill and... Pencil Neck and yeah. Giraffe ears, lol. Take the two satanic pestering fools. Ha ha. Listen to them scream like a bunch of chickens. Why are you here? What is happening? What the fuck is happening? 
Oh, red teeth clown. Sure, all right, there's a fucking push pin now. All right, yeah, you know, can we just have generic googly eyes from Banjo-Kazooie? Like, it doesn't have to be any specific one. Just, like, googly eyes as a character, and then they can jump onto whatever, like, a Christmas present, a, j a jiggy... A fucking musical note. What I just like generic googly eyes. That can be a guy. That's a great character. That's a wonderful character. Very multi-purpose. Like you could get go man. That would actually be a really funny idea for like a game concept or like a movie or something. Just googly eyes that are like attack of the killer googly eyes. You know, like googly eyes just attack a person, and now it's no longer that person. It's they're now being the they're the the host is now the googly eyes, and they're now controlling that person. But they're, they're like zombies. You know. But they've got like googly eyes just bouncing all around, you know. Like, that would be a really fun. And then, and of, and of course, while you're doing that, you have this music. You know. Oh my God! They're killing our. They're killing everybody at the at the park. Oh my God! The googly eyes need to be stopped. Oh, that would be that would be that'd be really something. I think that would be a great fit for this scenario right now. You all have been very rude to those customers. Time to spam you all with the comments since Raid Venom. Yeah, yeah, like the Mario Odyssey had exactly. Had a good idea. Except like a like a horror version of the Mario Odyssey hat. Here's a good idea. Why don't you? Why do they become tieflings sometimes? X is forever. Yeah, because all the battle for Dream Island racists are not allowed in our country, so get out. Well, the red teeth clowns are. Up I guess. To show oh, hater. Fucking hell. We're gonna have to eventually get into the battle for Dream Island because that seems to be like another fucking hotbed of tism. That seems to be another. The, the uh, fucking uh, Aurora Borealis of Tism localized entirely within that community. That seems to be what Battle for Dream Island is. Uh, people really want me to look at it. Like, people that spam the chat room and go, Deadwing, please look at Battle for Dream Island! And then I have to ban them. You know, people seem to be really interested in that. So, I mean, hey, who am I to deny them? You know, they're, they're, that's, it seems like it could really be something. Here's the red teeth clowns are object show haters. The red teeth clowns are object show haters. The red teeth clowns. Yeah, we're done with this now. We're, we're done with this now. I think we're good. Are Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up. But the only reason I clicked on this at all was because it said that it has, the, the other video we watched had it, his actual voice. I guess his rants include his real voice, but then his other videos are, our plotagon, you know, no, uh, no, you know, text to speech. Um, well, this one's interesting. Here's Mason Velez's rant house, double rant house number 15, which I still don't know what that means because the other one was also, oh, that was triple rant house number 15. Okay. We've really subdivided this pretty hard. This is like, this is very, this is very, in, uh, very in depth. Um, so this rant is interesting. Um, because, uh, well, this one, it doesn't, uh, let, let me just, um, open this up here this way. Um, th this, this rant is interesting. Oh, good God. Open the video. Okay. Yeah. This one, this one's going to be interesting because, um, this is going to be this guy talking about Yandere simulator. So I th I would say known user crossover here Yandere simulator Yandev, uh, out of place adult interest potentially I don't know, potentially he might not like it he might be against everything it stands for, um, but Yandere simulator and also of course the crow for PlayStation sure. Cool intro. Dude. All right, my fellow peeps, looks like we got yet again another rant house, double rant house installment for this bitch. And one of them has anything to- Bane, what the fuck are you doing showing your face in my chat without bringing the black incel channel? You say that the video got deleted. Well, fucking, what was the channel? You literally just go, oh, hey, I found a black incel channel. Well, fucking who? Where is he? I want to know. I want to know. Do with- Welcome, though. The ones that I'm gonna rant on that I've been waiting for a long time, and then the other one which uh, I've been planning to do so, um, well, not for very long time, but... It's not about not being able to find it after, it's about the fucking audacity of just going, Hey, I found a guy! And then, like, an hour later, I'm like, okay, fucking where is he? 
And then because you didn't post the guy, now the guy's missing. And we have no leads on the guy. Good, like, great job, Bane. Great job. That guy could be a mass murderer and you just let him go. You just let him go. But it's okay. I'm sure there will be more. Well, for Just for the hell of it. Well, so let's get on with these two pieces of shit, shall we? Okay. The first segment I'm going to rant on is Yandere Fucking Simulator. Uh huh. This piece of shit game is an unfinished stealth action video game by an American game developer, Alex Mahan. Better. Hang on. I like that this is his this is his hustle. This is this is gonna be the next H bomb video, just you wait. This is this guy's gonna get his dues. It's gonna happen. You can't get away with plagiarism like this anymore, buddy. No, and online as Yandere Dev. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll talk about him later. Okay, the game centers upon an obsessively lovesick schoolgirl named Ayano Aishi, nicknamed Yandere Chan, or rather Yandere Fuck, who has taken it upon herself to eliminate anyone she believes in attracting her senpai's attention. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna count that as gross mouth noises right there. That's fine. Well, that's just more of a gross n nose noise, but like, hey, it's fine. Fucking shit. Face noises, maybe. Maybe that could be the term. Okay, the plot and the gameplay is this: the player controls Ayano, and uh, an apathetic Japanese high school girl who has de uh, developed a crush on Taro Yamada. A fellow student often referred to as senpai. I forgot to mark down voice changer text to speech for the last one, the the um the the insanity video, the the insanity problems. All we need now is some sexism. There was something about idiot female child or something, but I think that was supposed to be a bad guy comment. So, so I don't think we can count him for sexism here. Um, uh, British lives in filth. This is a this is of course a, b a bingo for multiple users, but that's fine. We're down a rabbit hole here. Uh, crying threatens violence. All right, will not swear. No, he likes swearing. That's the only thing that makes these rant videos. Sent by my ass. Yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. Over the course of ten weeks, a different girl will fall in love with Taro, becoming a target for Ayano to eliminate. The player has the ability to kidnap, torture, poison, electrocute, match, make, befriend, betray, and drown rivals. Befriend other schoolgirls, play small mini games, access a street where the player. Wow, I love the uh, Wikipedia article for this dude. Well, it sure is an unfinished game, all right. Uh huh. I don't know how long has it been. I really do not know how long has it been to get this shit in development. Okay, the development is that Yandere Simulator is developed... Yeah, I already fucking said that. People are, like, shouting at him on Discord with little pings to... Hey, the game... Hey, why don't you read the fucking... Why don't you read the fucking Wikipedia, dog? It probably tells you. You know, the one that you've been reading? It probably tells you here somewhere. Oh, yeah, it was started in 2014. So it has been 10 years now. But people in the discord and he, he's just getting mad at them he, fucking shut up don't do not criticize me or i'll lose my insanity okay so this is a freelance game developer ah oh, shit i already said that too i already said his name earlier okay so this development is based in temecula california no way that's the location oh, where uh, alex my man um developed Okay, he first pitched the idea on 4chan in 2014, oh my God. and after receiving positive feedback, they decided to begin development. Yeah, the concept, somebody says they've never seen footage of this. The concept of the game is, it's like Hitman meets Persona, which is just such a dumb concept. I mean, like, it could maybe work if it was done in a really specific way. If you had, like, a specific... If you had, like, Bully, where every 
everybody who goes to the school has a name and there's like a bunch of specific characters and then you kill someone and it has like consequences and you have to try to hide evidence and stuff you could maybe do that but here it's just hey you're at a fucking school um and you're there every day but you're gonna murder like the whole school i guess to to get your senpai's attention it's a very stupid concept for a game and it's also not that complicated to do it the way he wants to do it so like I don't know why it's taken him so fucking long. Yandere Dev has started has stated that the series uh, Mirai Nikki and School Days were inspirations of for the game. Ugh, School Days, fucking School Days! Oh my god, no wonder why I fucking hate this franchise. This game the is entire sh game is just like walking up to people and stabbing them. That's the whole thing. So shit, far. this franchise is shit. Fucking school days, I mean, my. This is the way he's playing it, but like, I don't see that that's not working for him, so. My ass. Okay, in order to work on the game full time, Yandere Dev opened a Patreon account in 2016. He has stated that the prior t uh, to his. Uh, he has actually having trouble tracking down all the people he needs to murder now. So he is just reading this fucking Wikipedia. I thought this is currently was, in development. This is what happens. Hey, hey, I I request you to rant about a thing. Please rant about a thing. No. Okay. Yeah, that's how it should be. No. Like no, I don't have any real opinions about this game, you know, but he I, maybe he does. He doesn't seem to like it very much, but like he's being requested to rant, so what do you do? I don't know. Fucking read the Wikipedia, I guess, and just like call it stupid while you're doing it. I, I guess. Um. Uh. The, the, well, that's fine. I'm I'm good on that. I'm good on that. Um. Let's see here. Well, I think I'm probably going to call it uh, on this. I think I'm I'm getting pretty hungry. I I would like to move on. You know. Uh. Uh. Have some food and stuff. Make some dinner. Um, so, uh, we'll call it here on the users. I didn't get a bingo here. I think I did get a bingo earlier. I mean, I guess I could give myself a bingo for sexist or threatens violence if I wanted to get really spicy. Was there any violence threats? I don't think there was any real violence threats. Sexism is questionable. There could have been a, a little sexism. I mean, I hate women and minorities, so maybe... But no, I'm good on I'm 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 confident enough in my in my abilities to get bingos at other times that I don't need to I don't need to fudge the bingo here. Uh, I, I didn't get a bingo. Hopefully, some of you got a bingo. I think I got a cooking bingo earlier, or I got some kind of bingo at some point. I think I did, uh, but not uh, not not right there. But I'm gonna I'm, we're gonna move along here. I'm getting uh, I'm getting pretty hungry. Um, Ten bucks from Ammon Metfees. Uh, to, not to mention, to continuing discussing the, the, the strange X theory in person. Uh, not to mention they somehow convince themselves they regularly have intercourse with non-physical entities. Full climax and everything. I think I read that one, but yeah, that's interesting. Five bucks from Ammon Metfees. Potential user, perhaps. They don't know that I watch their this channel, but their username across most platforms. Uh, okay. Well, I don't need to... Uh, I mean... I, I don't need to like I don't need to like go after your you know ex or anything that's that's fine I, I don't think that's necessary uh, I mean I'm not even finding I'm not even finding it here uh, that's that's, that's pro probably not necessary um, how many people ten bucks uh, once again how many people can say that they were in an intimate relationship with the user and drove halfway across the US to save them from an abusive relationship just for them to go back home and call me an abuse. I don't know. Sounds like you're in a real Mama Max situation, dude. I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, five bucks from M. Metfees again. Then proceeds to block and gaslight all their friends who are also. I, uh, sounds like a real situation, man. I, I don't know. This isn't really the time or place for it. But I mean, thank you. Uh, I guess uh, five bucks from Tina. Tina and Cookies. Nobody wants to admit uh, to eating nine cans of ravioli, man. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll admit that like a a, a good uh, chef boy RD, you know, it hits when it hits. It hits. You get those those the, the raviolis or something. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. It's I mean, it's bad for you. I like the fucking. It's like the people with the McDonald's. Like, yeah, nobody's saying that the that the Mc, the, the chicken McNuggets are like bad are are like good for you. 
But sometimes you want them because they're because they're tasty. Nothing, nothing is good for you. We're all going to die. So fucking just eat the Big Mac. Shut up. Uh, Ten bucks from Evan Metfees. Sorry for the chat rant, but honestly, they would make an interesting user. Uh, like a Chris Chan, they think the drawings they make are real too and kin them, channel them. Okay, well, I mean, maybe. I'm not seeing them based on a cursory search there, though. So, I mean, uh, you know, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm potentially open to it, but I'll, I'll probably look at it off, off stream and, you know, make my judgment there. Um, five bucks from P. How do your streams still get sub 1K views? Maybe it'll help if you show us your boobies. Well, I mean, hey, listen, we've been doing pretty good this this past month. I've been getting around like 800, 900. Talk about Mama Max and jump up to 1700 or so. I mean, you know, I think it's been okay. I, I Around 2020, I would get like 2,000 views sometimes, but then, you know, then they stopped forcing us all to stay inside and watch streams all day. So, you know, understandably, that didn't really last the, the whole time. Uh, but you know, that's, that's fine. I, I, I've been pretty happy with where it's been lately. There was a period there, like last year it was, I was getting like, you know, 300, 400 views. Uh, that's still pretty good. I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining about that either, but it's just like, you know, it's nice to, nice to be, uh, nice to be doing a little bit, uh, you know, reaching a wider audience with my important message, uh, which is that, uh, 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 the, um, you should go play Sid Meier's Sim Golf. That's the message. Uh, Kate with five bucks. Just re getting ready to commute home. Have a good one, Claw and Chat. I'll try. Thank you. I hope you have a good commute. Uh, two bucks from Ronnie. Uh, the Ronnie the Wander Yoshi Spyro fan 357. You need to watch Tornado Siren Madness. What's what's that all about? Uh, Tornado Siren Madness. Um. It's an Astiff movie thing. Uh, it's got a lot of views. Uh, if we wind up doing some kind of, this looks like an animated thing, some kind of very strange, like MS Paint animated thing or something, I don't know. Uh, looks like some weird Twitter kind of esoteric uh, uh, surrealism. I'll save it. Uh, for another time when we do like a, 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 I don't know, movie night stream, high art stream. Not really movies, but just like animations and stuff. We could maybe watch some Rat Boy Genius sometime. I could finally get around to watching some more of, um, because it's been years since I've watched, uh, what's his fucking name? Uh, the, the, the Sonic Underground guy. No, we looked at a little of that on stream at one point, but... I made a point even when I looked at it, like, wow, it's been like since 2019. I haven't looked at the ra at the the Sonic Underground guy, uh, Tamers, but Tam Tamers is still pumping them out frequently and constantly. And I think that there's, I think that it is essentially the video version of Tails gets trolled, based on the little that I've seen from it. It, it reminds me very strongly of, it's like it's kind of meant as a joke, but also. But also kind of, you know, merely pretending a little bit. So there's, it's, 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 it looks, it looks good. Uh, and yeah, this, this would probably nestle in nicely along with stuff like that. Um, let me see here. Um, two bucks from Fish Fiesta. I think this is cause for raising the Sangi PNG. I don't know. I didn't raise the Sangi. I don't know where the Sangi should have been raised. Uh, you know, Mason Velez maybe a little bit. I mean, the Sangi was the, that that video was an assault on all of our senses. So I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just Sangi. That's just like a demon. Maybe that's like a. Hang on. Do I have the? Uh, do I have the? Uh, no, I don't think I do. I think it's over on the other. It's on the browser tab here. You go over to Yandere Simulator here. You know, and then you just get a little bit of. Uh, See, this is what was needed. This is what was needed for that video. Was maybe just over and over flashing it like this, you know, while that video was happening. That would have really added to that, I think. And then two bucks from uh, Emin Medfis, twice, just saying, sorry, was drunk today, still am. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. But, uh, you know, it's just, I, I don't I don't know. Some 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 people, uh, it's, it's better than... Um, I'll tell, check my DMs. Let me see. 
What, what, what do you, what do you, who do you, who do you, okay, it's Bane. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, it's not a name I can say. Uh-oh. I don't think I'm allowed, I don't think I'm allowed to say this one, chat. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, Bane found the black incel. And in fact, that's not what he calls himself. He calls himself this. So, um, good job, Bane. Thank you for finding it, Bane. Congratulations. No more. Yeah, no, Underdog got it. Uh, Underdog already kind of guessed it, actually. Yeah, no, Underdog's for real there. He got it. He guessed it. A nag cell. Um, so I, uh, yeah, no, they don't let me say, the liberals won't let me say the name of that channel for some reason. Uh, but he, he's, uh, I like how he has a Pornhub logo for his name. That's cool. Well, hopefully the, the channel stays up for next time, but, uh, we're, we're wrapping up here. Uh, so thank you for, thank you for finding it. Um, five bucks from Mammon and He's just saying thanks. Not even the fun kind of drunk, but the stream helped, uh, turn it into fun and gave you some laughs and, and you have my thanks claw. Well, it's a, I, I, I'm happy that you, you ha you're happy. Uh, I hope that, I hope the stream was was entertaining for you two bucks from nick c hey claw when will we return to the list well nicholas kerr and i assume that's what c the c stands for nicholas you know, the, the last name kerr you mean the cringe list here i think the last person we looked at on the cringe list was in fact Neggy springfield former fan of deadwing dork Inter uh, enterprises Currently a chat member in uh, only use me blade streams where he sh shouts the n-word 400 times um, um, He's uh, he was uh, Making some kind of claims about me and uh, it was a very interesting individual Got himself banned from the server for very interesting reasons uh, Blaze Sonic amazing atheist who's not really a, a cringe individual at this point uh, Maybe a little bit maybe some people don't like him, but I think he's kind of somewhat reformed we got the green axes for them there's only a few left on the cringe list the problem with the list is that most of the people who are not marked off now are like pc ass asians and what is that right so we've basically made our way through most of the list but then you get some people like this yasmin i don't know who that it's like a little too generic to really find the person there's some people on here who were potential i think this was from like I don't know, 420 Chan or something. It was from like an offshoot Chan. So you got some people like Homor here who kind of looks like he might just be, you know, like a, like a, a, a local lol cow. I don't know how we're, no, we're going to, I don't know how we're going to find Homor, you know, but then there were some class, some interesting people like Mylar balloon fan. If anybody knows about like Jennifer seemed like one that would be hard to find, but somebody just knew of them. This really is like a, um, a mama max situation where it, it, like here here's you want more lo you want more cringe list find them if you know who mew is or phobos or crap plus or omega alec who looks like the problem that they have is just that they're they're trans i guess i don't know i don't know what's up with that but omega alec uh you know if you know any of uh if you know any of these people that don't have X's on them, I mean, I know Chemo Alm. I don't, I, is a non-talk even still a thing? Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't think I even want to look at Chemo Alm. I need more info to do Ahuvia Harel. That's like a whole thing. That's a, that's one of the old fucking classic Chris Chans. There's a reason he's right next to Chris Chan there. Ahuvia Harel, EDF. Uh, I don't think I've even really talked too much about that. I gotta look more into, I, you know what we might do is like a revisit. We might do a revisit of some people, like, you know, you know, this Crimson Impulse guy up here with his interesting outfit. Of course, we've got Peacock Feather, whose dad took her, her sexy uh, cosplay nude photos. Um, Ulili Leah, who's not really a cringe lord anymore. I think he's just kind of a guy making games or whatever. And then, of course, Pixie Terry. Uh, probably a lot to say about her. Well, yeah, no, we'll get to the list at some point. There's definitely still some people that we could turn our attentions to. Uh, I think that that could be fun. Um, and then 10 bucks from Zapples just says Rocksmith. You, you want more base at some point, I guess? I could probably do that. 
Uh, I'd have to clean up my fucking room first. I'm currently lives in filth on the bingo square. But, uh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably do that again. Yeah. Uh, it's been a little while. I've been a little bit out of practice. I'm, I'm wanting to do like busking sort of thing in public. Uh, probably not in the middle of the winter though, when it's, you know, extremely cold out. I don't think that would behoove my finger movements or anything like that. Probably get, uh, get a little overwhelming, but, uh, you know, maybe I can, I can, uh, train up for that by doing streams. I don't have the, I don't have the stamina for, for playing bass for five hours or whatever on stream though. That's the problem. Um, I fell out of practice. I don't even really play it that much off stream at this point. I, I need to get back into it. Uh, but anyways, that'll do it. Thank you for the stream, for watching the stream. Thank you. You're welcome for doing the stream. Tomorrow, maybe we'll do more stream, but no promises. You know, it might happen, might not. Uh, tip your waitresses. Um, uh, buy into Dork Coin now. We're going to moon hard super soon. It's going to happen. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, go fuck yourself. Penis. <laughs>